Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. One of my personal favorites is Stephen King's It, which they're making into a movie. Again. Live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Say, hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> And now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I am Count Dracula. You are? No. No. (laughs) If I was, I'd be gay Dracula. You would? Yeah. Suck your cock, then suck your blood. (laughs) And who do we have with us today, TJ? Uh... I don't know. Is it the Bible Reloaded guys again? No, no, I don't think so. Huh. Oh, be, okay. I just must be up. that. What happened, Paul? Did you die? I don't know. We got Paul. We got yeah. Paul's ego. Yes, yes. Hello, we everybody. got Paul's fucking ego. How's it going? Sorry, I had a little lag and jumped it's in right. and probably I wanted... ruined a ruined a fucking fantastic joke. No, <laughs> no, you didn't. You saved me, Paul. You saved me. Oh. It's okay. Um. Why is why why have uh, Paul's id and uh, Paul's super ego never come back for a second appearance? I don't know. I it's one of those things. It's kind of like uh, playing the Godfather. You know, you don't yeah. want to do it twice. I see. Even though I suppose he, he no, he didn't. Yeah, I, I'd never want to. <laughs> I'd never. I'd never want to bring the id and the the super ego back. I think they've why said not? their piece. They've said their piece. Okay. They're done. I liked I liked Id, you know. You gotta get Well Id yeah. Back. Everybody loves Id. So what you been up to, Paul? It's been a while since we've had you on. <clears throat> I've been having the worst fucking time at work and uh that's about it. I mean I I genuinely have uh like the summers are so awful for my work. So Oh shit. So because but of the other heat. than that what was that? Because of the heat? Yeah, the heat and just, I'm, you know. Oh, no. Somebody in the chat says, ask Paul about ICP. Paul, That's not good. what about ICP? Tell I, us about I, ICP, uh, Paul. I, I, Tell us about ICP, Paul! I flirted <laughs> at one point with liking ICP. It was in the 90s. <laughs> and I got into the whole mythology of it. This you know, sounds like had... this sounds like a, a drug addict confession almost. <laughs> it, it feels <laughs> like one. You know, I, I was into heroin. It was the nineties. <laughs> Living life I, on the feels, edge at the time. It feels like one, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, it, I uh, I liked their Joker's cards thing. Like the, each right. one of their albums was a Joker's card. Yes, and right. I, I I was like, because they were saying, you know, once the six card drops. This whole uh, dark carnival is going to come rolling through the whole world and it's going to reap the sinners, you know. And I was like, what are they going to do when that doesn't happen? Like when they drop the sixth card and nothing, nothing happens, what's, what are they going to do? And they just kind of copped out and said, it's always been about Jesus, yo. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, man, yeah, they, really? I remember the exact line. It was like, the carnival is God. We've always been behind him. It oh, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, that was exactly it. Yeah. And it was like <laughs> really all of this cutting they should chicken have, necks. They should have just died before the sixth one could drop so that people would be like, rumors have it the sixth Joker's card <laughs> is in a bunker at the center of the earth. <laughs> and if it is ever played, the world will come to an end. That'd have been so much cooler. I think yeah. so. But they but they just didn't have the balls to die after the fifth album. Yeah, so, so tragic. Uh, it yeah, it really is. But you're a juggalo, Paul. Just I was well, I wasn't. I wasn't even a juggalo. At no, the time. you nah. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I was. You gonna be down with the clown till you're dead in the ground, Paul? Much clown love, TJ. Much clown love. <laughs> when I in the '90s, when that when that shit was going on, I lived in an area not too far away from Detroit, where that shit was just insanely huge, and I knew so many people that liked it. I just never really fully. My got thing into about it. It is, is is how can you be a posse if there's only two of you? Yeah, two, pe- two people it does not really constitute a posse anywhere. Well, you know, you know, ICP used to be called the inner city posse. Yes, yes, but it still yeah. has the problem of having the word posse in it. <laughs> I think there were so more it's... people in it maybe back when it was a posse. Like they had That's a band true. of singing. Maybe they had a couple of singing girls. You know. To do oh in between the raps and that makes them a posse. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I I don't accept that, but we'll move on. <laughs> you want to move on? So yeah, yes. what's going what's going on in the universe? Should we get G Man in on this? Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll bring G Man on. G Man <laughs> and the masters of stupidity. <laughs> uh, excuse me, TJ. I would like to know why you put a banana in your butt. It was for science. <laughs> Here for the go. purposes of science. G Man. It's G Man. Hey guys, what's up? G <laughs> Man. G Man. Hey G Man, hey. I, I have to ask you a question. Don't ask uh, G Man any questions. Because it's been it's been a while since you and I talked. This is Paul's ego, by the way, G Man. How are you doing, Paul? Um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, listen, have you have you, you come to the realization that everything that you believe is silly and horribly wrong, or are you still G Man? I'm still G Man. Okay. I don't believe. <laughs> and and uh, have you come to the conclusion that God exists and that you need to repent of your sins? I have not <laughs> come to that conclusion. So I guess we're Some... in the same fucking boat. We're in the yeah. same place we were at the start, G Man. Somehow I felt that there that that would be the case. At this point, yeah. Somehow, I thought that too. You know? <laughs> I didn't. I was sure that Paul would be uh, a radical Christian by now. I thought G Man was going to convert him. Well, G Man uh, did convert, but then he, but then he said he was just joking. <laughs> yeah, the whole chocolate atheist thing, you right? Chocolate atheist. <laughs> oh, by the way, go get him, G Man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're gonna play that song, dude. Uh, I know you guys liked it. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna play it right now, and then we can we can comment on it. Okay, guys, you know. can you hold on one second, guys, one second for me. Are uh, we live? Yes, we yeah. are. Oh Lord. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Um, oh, G Man's got right. things to do. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, G Man's got people no, to no, see. I got, I, I got people go, calling me. Go. And they don't realize I'm busy. That's what it is. Ah. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'd like to hear G-Man go up there and just like yell at people. Like, shut up! I'm on the fucking <laughs> peasants. Trying to yeah. spread the Lord's word right now. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Preaching the choir ministries. Here we go. Oh, we're not live. Okay. Yes, we are, we are live. live. Yes, we're live. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mic check. One, two. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's how we do. One Here we go again, and I'm preaching to the choir. Sharing the uh-huh. truth, snatching you out the fire. <laughs> Yo, check your position. Walk away from evolution. Stop Damn mocking it, man. God. But take the God. That was a pretty cool beat until you started rapping on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was well, I made the beat. beat. I made the beat. <laughs> You did? Well, you got a lot more talent doing that then. <laughs> Maybe you should just make beats you should, for me. Yeah, you should just sell beats to like people who can rap. I can yeah. rap. Why don't you play why don't you continue? Oh, okay. To play okay, the, okay. Uh, okay. 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 We'll continue. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Dollars revolution, stop trying to split. A peep from a pod, use logic and reason, place your faith in God. Jesus has the power to save your soul. Satan has the opposite as his goal. So get on your knees to take care of business. Jesus is coming, better beg for forgiveness. Who get the fuck it. man? Fuck it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Fuck it. Retreat, fuck it. G man. Fuck it. Uh 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Fucking sucks. Fucking love the G man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Fucking with the G man. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Fucking sucks. I like the I like the Bill O'Reilly you put in there, G Man. The the Bill, Bill O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Yeah, the Bill O'Reilly fuckets and fucking things. That was pretty stuff. awesome. Yeah, we that like part. that part. That's my favorite part right there. <laughs> That's my favorite part too. Yeah, I enjoyed just, that. I didn't G-Man, like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care for much language. of the rest, but you know, it's G-Man, a good thing I own the original, and, and everyone knows that that's not true. So <laughs> that's drunken peasants uh, editing. You should, you should I don't know be what you're talking about. Yourself, G-Man, using that kind of language in a rap song in front of exactly. the children. The, the children. children. <laughs> I, I, I did an awesome job uh, changing my voice, didn't I? Uh, of course, that never happened, but you know. <laughs> no, no, no. It happened. We we just heard it right now. That was that was G-Man's uh, new song. Let's uh, can we, yeah. can we hear some more of the of the song? Okay, let me just. Christians, yeah. you're all in danger. Dilla, honey, spread it. Delusions and grandeurs. He's on a show called Atheist Experience. When Christians call in, he doesn't take them serious. When he tells his lies, he's very persistent. You want to change your mind, make the truth non-existent. Don't get your hopes up when you call that show. All they're gonna say is, I don't know. I want to marry He's a liar from hell. Who doesn't have a clue. When he's lost, and hang the phone up on you. Why is a testify? I have a question. Why? Why is yeah. Jesus such a gangster in this song? Yeah. Yeah. Why Jesus is Jesus like a gangster. Yeah. You know, you made him so gangster. He's all just like he's gonna. He's gonna. You need to like beg his forgiveness, and he's gonna fucking stick his foot up your ass and shit. What's going on he's, with that? He's gonna hang the phone up on you. Is what I heard. Oh, actually, yeah. so my Mac. The, the atheist experience would do that, but uh, Jesus is not being gangster. Uh, that's actually me listening to some criticism, some criticism from these fans on YouTube that's telling me that um, I'm not doing enough dissing in my raps. So, you know, okay. I listen. Oh, got it. Yeah, and, I, and some of my critics are here now. He's called TJ and Ben and Scott. Scott's not. You know, I, I I I wasn't on beat. You know what I mean? I wasn't dissing enough. You know, you know, I'm not gonna cuss so. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it in your song. Yeah, there was cussing. I don't know. There was lots of cussing. Heard it. I heard excessive I didn't hear uses any. of the F word. I, I don't know. Maybe my, my earphones. <laughs> I, have to, I have to fix my earphones because I don't remember saying anything like that. Okay. Maybe I'll hear it again. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, hey G-Man, how do you feel about yoga? Yeah. Do you think yoga is satanic? Uh, as an exercise, no. As a What's... practice with people meditating and thinking they're having out-of-body experiences, yes. So what is, how, how is, how is that, I mean, like. Because we're going to watch a video that we want your opinion on that, that someone made. Okay, well, let's just, let's just show them the video and we'll see. All right. Okay, cool. This, this guy's the Vigilant Christian. Are you, are you oh, familiar oh, with him? the Vigilant Christian Mario, yeah, the Vigilant Christian Mario, yes. I know yeah. who he is. Yeah, we know. Mario. We know who he is, too. Mario Brothers. Dun, 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 dun. He's like yeah, fucking nice Batman. Movie. Yeah. He's the Batman. Waking up the church. Exposing the entertainment industry. Yeah, uh, the vigilant Christian, he believes in the Illuminati, by the way. The Illuminati. Do you, do you believe in the Illuminati as well? I believe that the Illuminati exists, yes. Do I believe really? in the Illuminati? No. But I believe that they exist, yes. I don't talk about it because it's not relevant to what my channel is all about. Okay. <clears throat> what about you, Paul? Do you believe in the Illuminati? Of course. <laughs> You're part of the Of course aren't I you? do. I you, am. You, I'm pulling you, the puppet strings. You've got that reptilian look about you, you know? I go to the Bilderberg group meetings, and, you know, Hillary always gets drunk and makes a fool of herself. It's good times. It's really not all that evil. That you know, people think we're we're doing nefarious things. We're just being rich together. <laughs> yeah, really rich at the cost of uh, American citizens and. Whoa, whoa, whoa G man, whoa! That's socialism. <laughs> yeah, sounds like socialism to me. Yeah, communism. Socialism. First, he makes yeah. socialism. I, I, I live in a communist nation. I'm not a communist. I live in a democratic, <laughs> a, 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 a capitalist, a, place. a capitalist society. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First you think, he makes. You think, uh, how do you think Jesus would have felt about capitalism, G-Man? 
to be able to own your own business and be able to make a profit. Um, I don't think he would have a problem with it. However, if you're talking about the corruption that's involved in capitalism, I know he would have a big problem with it. Hmm. Just wondering. Okay. So it does say, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Here's some more vigilant yes. Christian. Declaring truth in the darkness. Exalting <laughs> Christ in a world of idolatry. <laughs> have you guys ever had Exposing him the New Age movement. He asked if we ever had him on the show. We, I, I made him an offer to come on, but he didn't want to do it. Oh, okay. All right. Him was scared. The Vigilant Christian. <laughs> hey, everyone. You're here with The Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of... The intro is 50% of the video. In today's video, I'm going to be okay. talking about my personal experience as a yoga instructor and how I realized that yoga is, in fact, a satanic spiritual practice. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's stretching. Hey, bro. <laughs> like See, my the stretching, I don't have no problem with. I don't have no like, problem with the stretching. Like my puka shell necklace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fucking great, doesn't it? <laughs> TJ, you just don't like me because I was the popular guy in school and you were just a fat piece of shit. That's very true. <laughs> that was you basically good... what he said in one, in one of his videos. You had the good sense oh, really? not to wear puka <laughs> not, shells. Not those exact words, but, you know, saying, like, he was the cool, popular guy. I don't know. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Everyone likes him. I must have missed him. that video. I must have missed that video. It's the one he made directly to TJ. Oh. Just that no one should be participating in. Okay. Now, I know right off the bat, now that sounds like an extreme claim, and it might be hard for a lot of you to believe, but please, watch this entire video before making your conclusion on the No, I don't think we're going to get all the way through it. So things we're going to talk about is, like I said, my personal experience, <laughs> I could do as that well move. as the spiritual roots of That's yoga. That's easy for me. And I like to see that. Christian yoga, which is gaining I'm popularity sure you in would. modern culture today. Christian yoga? Christian yoga. That's when you do it. That's when you do it for Jesus instead. All right. Yes. Now, everybody, let's enter the supplicate yourself to Jesus pose. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Feel the there's Lord's no love. Thing. There's no such thing as Christian yoga. Um, I would he like that. He, he just said it's gaining popularity, G man. It ain't gaining popularity with me. If he's talking about stretching, yeah, then maybe that. But all the meditation and all that stuff that go with it, I doubt that so, severely. So, so just meditation is, uh, like, satanic in nature? Is that what you're saying, G-Man? I'm saying that if if you're doing yoga and you're, and you're opening yourself up for other spirits or something to come in you or to influence you, that that's evil, yes. Did you hear that, TJ? You're opening up for something to come in you. Yes. Thanks, You buddy. know what I mean. I'm Thanks talking about, like, coming out. inside of you and live inside of you. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, inside of you. Uh, it's not getting any better. We do. We do. <laughs> it's like when Johnny Cash was singing to the prison and he was singing the fucking John Henry song. And, uh, you know, yeah. that line where it's like, this is the first morning I got up, the sun came up, and I couldn't be up with it. And they, they all laughed. Like, hey, hey, hey. he's like, ah, oh, you dirty minded bastards. Mm hmm. It's like hey, that uh, situation. DJ, yeah, uh, yeah. Last week you had uh, awesome rants here, and you had another feminist here. Yeah, no, no, no. Here no. And you mentioned that you was gonna call me, and you didn't call me. What's up with that? I think we did try. Even to your call fans him. was saying call me. I think we did try to call call him last week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure we did. We did. Nope. 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 Nobody tried to call me. I was waiting too. Oh man. And how Christians should have nothing to do with this. So let's get uh, right into it. So seven years ago, I started to experience depression and anxiety, and I went to a psychologist. And a it's lot weird of psychologists that he would feel that way when he was the popular kid in school and everyone liked him. Yeah, I mean, you'd think the puka shell necklace alone would keep him from being depressed. <laughs> it's like every time he looks in the mirror, like, damn, I'm cool. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm fucking cool. <laughs> God damn, I'm the coolest motherfucker you've ever seen. Look at me getting all this pussy while TJ gets none. <laughs> G-Man has no idea what to say right now. Uh, I'm just letting you guys be you. Okay. <laughs> he's, just, um, he's just, he's just actually, standing outside like the, the glass. Christian, uh, I thought I like you would. I, thought I you don't would. agree with everything, but, but I like his program. So do you think that everything that happens is just this well uh, strategized conspiracy 
where, you know, there's like, you know, tens of thousands of people in on these conspiracies that secretly control, you know, what the world does. Yes and no. I believe that that uh, that you do have people orchestrating things in the world. But I think that some people on YouTube and in our personal lives have an unhealthy interest in what's going on behind the scenes. It's a remarkably lucid answer to that question. <laughs> I, 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 give you, I, I give you props about that. That that was pretty damn damn good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's the truth, though. I mean, like, there are some people that pay a little bit too much attention to what to what uh, these the, these politicians and some of these rich people are doing. And they think that that they're influencing the, mu the music industry and in various you know parts of life. And the truth of the matter is, um, you know, some of that stuff is going on. But I doubt it's the way that these the way these uh, conspiracy theorists uh, on YouTube are saying, like 24 seven, you know, everything is a conspiracy. No. Yeah. Every time <laughs> you know, they, some of this stuff, every is time there's some of this stuff is. Every time there's Sorry, even guys. like, you know, every time there's like any sort of disaster, like a plane crash or a mass shooting happen, like every single time it's like, this is part of a secret plot to control the population orchestrated by B the Bilderberg group or the Illuminati or Obama or, you know, whoever else. Yeah, yeah. Obama makes well, let the me school ask you something, shootings though. happen. What if that was true, though? Or I how mean, would that affect you two? I, that I, was true? I would imagine if it were true, people wouldn't really be able to get away with saying it very easily. Uh, but I mean, even if, I mean, if it were true, then I mean, that'd be pretty fucking crazy, I guess. I'd just be like, I guess I was wrong about that. Yeah, it turns uh, out every, every disaster that's happened in the last 300 years has been orchestrated by the Illuminati. Who knew? You know, it, there's oh, got no, it. No, no, there's I don't believe. Yeah, I know. And, but there are, you know, we're talking about people who do. There are people out there who think that, like TJ said, anytime there's a fucking hurricane blows through town, it, the, the Illuminati was behind it. Or someone. You know, or some, or someone. You know, the, the yeah. government or, you know, some coalition of evil people who have some dark hidden agenda. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I really think... I really think, like, when it comes to, to, like, the corruption of rich people, it's not really that hard. It's not, like, a, a secret evil agenda. I mean, it's an open evil agenda of, like, we're just going to crush the poor and continue to do everything we can to increase our wealth. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I don't, you know, lend any credence to all the Illuminati stuff is because it's not, it's being done right in front of our faces. <laughs> I know, like, what would well, be like, the point of a secret cabal? Well, yeah. Like why well, even why even waste the time to have a secret meeting somewhere? You're just doing well, they, it. Do it mainly because there's nothing we can do about it. That's why because they're in control of everything. But let me ask you guys something. In 2008, when we when we went through this financial crisis, you wouldn't say that that was orchestrated. I think it was orchestrated by a bunch of greedy people on Wall Street who put their hands a little far a little too far in the cookie jar. And uh, fucked us all. Now, of course, there was collusion in the political class, too. Um, they, they destroyed Glass-Steagall so that they could start trading in these exotic derivatives and stuff like that. But um, as far as it being a conspiracy, I don't, I, I, don't really think it, I don't really think it fits the definition. I think it was a fuck up. Let me ask you a question, Paul. I think you're going to get a kick out of this. What is a, deriv a derivative? Yeah, I have no idea. And neither do you. <laughs> So. <laughs> exactly, 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 exactly. Um, and by the way, I believe that all of that happened because they want they, they want to purposely destroy the economy because they want a different system of government and they know the American people will never go for it. Who that are much they? I actually believe. Who, yeah, who are whoever the, the heck that... is running the world? Because it certainly ain't Obama or whoever's running this country. It ain't Obama. That's for sure. So do you think it's the Obama's not calling the shots? Do you think it's someone that, or a group of, of people that control the entire world and they're all uh, in cahoots with each other, or what? How do you of think course, this yes. works? Yeah, you think so? I believe, I believe, I, I believe the thirteen richest families in the world are pretty much running things right now. And no matter how much you talk about it on the internet, it doesn't make a difference. You can't stop them. In fact, the Bible says you're not going to. Only Jesus Christ is going to be able to stop. Oh people. well, then that settles it for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> the Bible said. Oh, okay then. This stuff is predicted in the scripture if you go read Revelation. I mean, this stuff is predicted. I know. You know? I had to read it. Before. Revelation 13. Uh, I forget where in Daniel, but I know uh, it's in Revelation And lo, the 13 richest families will control the world with their corporate oligarchy. Yes. And lo, they already, the car they already the, do. <laughs> they already the, do. The Koch <laughs> brothers. And lo, the Koch brothers did descend from the heavens. <laughs> 
Like I don't. Well, I would. I would say God. like uh, I would say ascend from the hells. Why how come is, there's? How come heavens we, can be heavens, but then if it's hell, it can only be one. It's, it's a singular thing. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that is true. Well, uh, actually, that's kind of easy because you have the sky that would be considered right. uh, a heaven. Then you have space that would be another heaven, and then oh, the okay. other place is where God dwells. But it's all. I mean, it's it. Okay, there's there's really no actual delineation there, but that's fine. Well, actually, there is. <laughs> Unless you count the scripture. atmosphere, I guess. The scripture, yeah, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why was uh? Why was why was you know the sweet Lord so vague in Revelations, as right. to as to write? Why didn't he just put beware the Koch brothers, beware the Bilderberg? You know what I mean? Like, why isn't that in the Bible? Why well, is because it, why but if he it, like, if he'd done that, the then they would have just with, called it something else. You know, a man with two shekels will bring a red light to the sun. You know, why does it have to be that? <laughs> Revelation 13 talks about a beast coming out of the sea, and that beast is supposed to be uh, um, a uh, a government system or a individual. Who but I mean, but that's much. just one interpretation. You could say a, you could say the beast represents like a million different things. Like yeah. what? Like what? Well, I mean, like you make, could say you could say the beast. The top of your head. You could say <laughs> the beast me- represents an army or a political movement or even a literal fucking beast. I mean, it could be it could be any number of things. Well, let me tell you this on behalf of us in Christianity. Um, none of us believe that a monster is coming out of the water. Oh, bullshit. Hand. You know damn well some of you do. You know no, damn we well. Believe- you know damn well that there are some Christians who believe that there's going to be a literal ten-headed beast coming out of the water. I've if never I, you know met what? one. If I've I was a, if, if I was a Christian, I would go with the ten-headed beast option. Well, that here's the thing. Cool. The, the people that believe that probably aren't real Christians. To G Man. Oh. No, I wouldn't say that. When it comes to eschatology, uh, we can disagree on some things, but I, I've never met a Christian that believes that a real monster is coming out of the water, considering what the Bible teaches. Well, that's what it should be then. If the if the if this all this shit ever actually does happen, I hope it is a literal monster. So G Man could be like, Oh, I guess it was a literal monster. <laughs> Oops. I want him to be. Cool wa- thing is, though, I want him to be cool watching the is- TV, and then Godzilla should show up and fight the Beast of the Apocalypse. <laughs> no, that would cool be a fucking that- sick movie. Yeah. You know the cool thing is, Amazing Atheist. What? If this stuff does happen, you're gonna be a Christian because you're gonna know that we predicted it was gonna happen. Oh, okay. And by the well, way, we're living in I'll- that system. It's called. It's called the New World Order. We hear. We hear our leaders talking about this stuff all the time. Yeah, Hollywood. Hogan. You know, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about Hogan, <laughs> or Hall and Nash, or none of those guys for that matter. I was like Degeneration X. Degeneration X. Yeah, I was like them. All right. So you want to go back to yoga, Satanic? Who, who cares? I don't you think don't anyone. Care? I don't think anyone cares. We've we've veered off the topic okay. like twice now. G man, G man, we uh, we <laughs> recently saw a video. Let's take our our, our um, stuff off the screen for this. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, we should be talking about my rap. No, no, G-Man. <laughs> you know, we, we something better for you. This okay. is uh, this is G-Man. I think it's called G-Man the Opera. G-Man the motherfucking opera. Have you ever seen this, G-Man? G-Man the Opera? No, I want to see that. It, it's called G-Man the motherfucking opera. It's pretty disparaging to you. I will warn the, uh, you before you go in. <laughs> the, the oh, guy who... it's, it's a parody on me then, probably. I'm assuming. Yes. 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 It's a cartoon. Oh, boy. Let's see this. Side the guy... Atheist, I think. Yes. Oh, brother. All right, let's see this. All right. I got it. Before your eyes I just destroyed the no true Scotsman fallacy I broke the ninth commandment or did I commit apostasy? You have no grounds to judge me with your subjective morality Once again I have exposed your atheist hypocrisy My knowledge is extensive in all matters of biology Natural selection is a strict impossibility I'll believe in evolution only when you show to me A canine turn into a non-canine in a laboratory God you do not worship is believed in quite consistently An answer trend logically had its own causality You can't say he's not real until you've been to every galaxy So let me ask you how can you reject him so emphatically? <laughs> I'm 
preaching to the choir with my stupid fucking ministry Reputing your assertions of the Bible's inconsistency I talk a load of fucking shit about biblical slavery And underneath the carpet I sweep anything and say Whoa, 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 Okay, you know what, me and Side, it's my, me and Side 10's going to war now I'm <laughs> this gonna is, kick his this, behind I'm gonna this kick is the, his butt now This is the best part coming up here Here we yeah, go Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll let you uh, do a response Yeah, after, yeah, you can respond to it After, uh, yeah Air water okay. fry the buns of each specifically She's feeding you a bunch of number two in actuality I suck the cock of breaking and the pussy of Shani is me <laughs> While Beckles dick is pummeling my arsehole continuously <laughs> Before your eyes I just destroyed the no two Scotsman fallacy I broke the ninth commandment or did I commit apostasy Read your Bible and do what it says and you'll be just like me The winner of the jackpot in the fucking gun count lottery <laughs> Read your Bible and do what it says, and you'll be just like me, the winner of the checkout in the fucking Gunkot Lottery. <laughs> and then he's crushed by him. You have to man. admit, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna kick his butt. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna right. kick his butt. Side 10 Atheist, if you're watching this as war, I shall respond. That's all I got to say. <laughs> That's I the most. That was, I had to fucking walk away from the mic for a second. That's the fucking most amazing thing I've ever seen. Oh, oh dude, God. did you see Brett Keen? Oh, it was the yeah. best. That wasn't Brett Keen. That was Matthew Bell. He had lying down like that. No, no, One no, day no, you no. should was... invite him. Brett Keen, <laughs> Brett Keen popped up at one point, and it was perfect. Yeah, a... Brett Keen and Shanny is me. <laughs> okay, and I will hey, be Paul, side 10 Paul. atheists. Yeah. Paul, I have an idea. Okay. You and I, you and I should uh, make an independent movie about Brett Keen, and you can play Brett. Okay. And <laughs> well, actually, before you do that, before you do that, and you I'll owe play me a rap battle. I'll play. You G -Man. owe me a rap battle. You owe your fans, and you owe me a rap battle. You promise. You said that. Now, you when you're going talking about it. when you're talking about a rap battle, G Man, I gotta ask you: Are you talking about spitting a bunch of written, or are you talking about coming off the top? I'm talking about yeah. doing. Listen, let's have a rap battle. You make a rap, and I shall respond. No, I okay, make a rap got it, got it. You you're talking respond. about, you're talking about spitting written raps. See that? I, no, all I need is all I need anybody is can do days. written. Raps. I'll put something together. Anybody no, can do no, no, a written no. rap. Oh, you mean doing something off the top of my head off the fly? I'm talking. I'm talking about freestyling. Is I what can't I'm freestyle. About. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't freestyle. That's a man. That's freestyle. that's the man's game. Oh, yeah, it's a man's, man's game. game. But I guarantee you, if I'm given the same amount of time as the Amazing Atheist, I'll come out with something better than him. No disrespect. Yeah. But you owe your fans and you owe me a rap battle. I don't care if All it's right. on your channel or not. I will come here tomorrow if you want with something prepared with music and everything and lay up the smack it down all over you, man. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, don't I'll, make promises uh, that you're not going to keep, man. Come on. Well. Be real. We'll, come, we'll reconvene next week. TJ, our, don't make a raps. promise that your ass can't cash. We, if you can come back on yeah. the show next Thursday, we can we can yeah. we can lay down our wraps there. Cool, no problem. I got no problem with that. By next Thursday, let's, hopefully you'll have something ready. Let's keep them. Let's let's keep them at like two minutes a piece. TJ is actually shaking okay. right now. Yeah, I'm sh yeah, he's, he's visibly doing this. shaking. He's doing I can this. tell. He's doing this. <laughs> and, and I want to promise all of uh, the Amazing Atheist fans, if he's serious, you will be entertained and I will kick his butt. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm oh, no. going to <laughs> You have been called out, TJ. The gauntlet okay, has by been the way, thrown down. It's kind of like I can't even be that scared of vote. I'm going to kick he's his butt. You, you got to say yes, yeah, at let's least. Let's do this for a good cause. Let's do this for a good cause. You've been promoting that... Uh, that book thingy you've been doing, right? The uh, audible.com thingy. Let's do yes. this. Um, hmm. If, let's see. Uh, you mean audibletrial.com like forward slash drunken peasants? Thank you for mentioning that, G-Man. <laughs> I'm By sorry, the way, what was that? Was that yeah, audibletrial.com audible forward slash drunken, forward drunken, peasants? drunken peasants? Oh, yeah, I think it was audibletrial.com <laughs> forward slash drunken peasants. I think that's what he was talking about. What, what can you do if you go there? What I don't happens? know. I think you can get a free audio book and uh, support our show in the process by just going and getting a free book. Paul, you were speaking to us earlier telling us how much you enjoy the service. Can you tell I us do, a little bit yeah, about that? I'm an, I'm an Audible member. I, uh, I, I, Liar! I, I tend Sorry. to use it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I, I tend to use yeah, it to fall know. asleep, too. I like to, I like to listen to books while I fall asleep, and it's uh, it's pretty awesome service. Yeah, yeah. 
So okay, yeah, thanks, thanks. Thanks for bringing it up. Sign on up. What is it? We have to have consequences. We have to have consequences for the winner and the loser. And maybe okay. we can oh, use your auto boot. Your, your, All right. Your if auto, if loser, I win, the if I win, I want you to say butt. right. That's awesome. I could do that one. No, no. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, G man, I think that it, I, I know what I if I if I win, I want you to say all seven of the dirty words by George Carlin. Oh so. no, 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 no! I can't do that. No, oh, no. Okay. That, you got to put something up. Something. You got to no, put something up, no, G man. No. You got to put it's something up. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh! I thought I you were so confident you were gonna beat me. <laughs> I thought you were so no, confident, no, no, G man. Yeah. Oh shit. No. No. Put oh no, come on, G man! You're never. There's no way you could lose, so you might as well just agree to my outrageous demand. No, Fuck it! No, no uh, because those atheists. I tell you what, I'll promote your audible.com thingy on my channel for a week. How about that? Oh, oh wow! All seven of your viewers will see it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll promote it on my channel. I have more than seven people. But but okay, but I okay. will uh, promote it on my channel. I'll go. I've been defeated by the amazing atheist, and he beat. How me, are so we going? I, how are we even going to determine? How are we even going to determine who vote. objectively won this? Are we going to have a judge? Gonna I can do that. Your my fans are going to vote. Yes. My your my fans, fans are going to be biased though. We need someone who's no, going to be not. unbiased. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, so I'm you're just saying thoroughly you, entertain them. I'm gonna okay, thoroughly you're gonna you're just gonna eviscerate <laughs> me then. Okay. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. All right. You might fucking regret doing this, G Man. <laughs> oh, and if I win the amazing game, okay, and I listen, if if I lose, I will promote for a week. Your um for, for seven straight videos. When Hold I open on. my video how, co how come you get to decide what the conditions are? Because okay, he's G Man and God reasonable? is on his side. Okay. You pick No no the let's let's hear it let's hear his uh let's hear his proposal here. What what do I have to do if if, if you win, G Man? Well, well, let's talk about what you get if you win first. If if you win, uh, let me see here. Um, hmm. Uh, I have to sing happy birthday to to your brother or something. I don't know. I'll embarrass myself. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't sing. <laughs> one click, by the way, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. What can I do that's embarrassing for me? Um. Hmm. Well, we were we were asked because we already figured out. Like, if you lose, you're going to promote the Audible trial. What does what yeah. does TJ have to do? Yeah, like loses? I just I just need to know what I'm doing if I lose. That's what that's what's <laughs> going on here. Let's just establish that. Okay, you have to. Come Not to that my that's going to happen. You have to come to my channel for 15 minutes. Wow, I have to come to your channel 15 for 15 minutes. minutes? 15 what? minutes to come yeah, into one gotta... of my Google Hangouts for 15 oh, okay. minutes. All right, I don't think I'll do it. A lot. <laughs> All right, that sounds fair. We'll do that. Deal. Yes. Yes. We'll be here next Thursday to do our raps. Oh shit! G man I'm, will win, brother. I'm brother. <laughs> I'm tingling. I'm tingling with anticipation. Oh <laughs> man! So so when is this? Next week? Yeah, it's Thursday of this week. That's okay. right. Oh oh, and one more little condition: if you lose, not only do you have to come to my channel for 15 minutes, but this is this is Ben that's here with you, right? This is Ben, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ben has to say I love john cena no oh shit. i'm not you involved have to in stay this on air you love john cena this come is on your ben. Show. you, have you to gotta say, you gotta I toss love that john up. cena look at all these fans you have that love you to death that are probably gonna just play me and just say that he won but you have to go live and say i love john cena if you lose this is part of and his play his theme music and play his theme music no no i'm not gonna play his theme music Definitely not. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, that's By the way, have we have we uh, have we introduced everyone to to Scotty Cena? Scotty Cena is Yeah, on. let's 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 full screen Scotty Cena for a minute here. Unfortunately, they won't be able to see him. Oh well, fuck yeah. that. I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll put Scotty Cena. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There's Scotty Cena. Yeah. What's up, Scotty Cena? I don't know what I Hi. You can't see me. Stop whining. <laughs> How are you? What's the matter? The champ is here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone loves Scotty Cena. Everyone loves Scotty Cena. What's next, Ben? 
So, so all of you drunken peasant fans out there. Yeah, we are. We already did that. You have a it's rap fine. Battle with the right. amazing atheist. Yeah. Remember, if you want to yep. hear, you want to yep. hear this guy say, "I love Cena." You got to say, "I won." All right. Maybe, uh, maybe we could have uh, <laughs> Tim the bartender be on and be the judge. Oh shit! Oh wow. <laughs> There's a oh, crazy yeah. idea. By the way, yeah, I, I, I saw that video. Yeah, I, yeah, that guy's got issues. Oh wow. Oh wow. You think so? Is he an atheist? What is I, that? Don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know exactly. I think he is some sort of Christian. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Not, not, not like 100%. That. What's he? I don't know about well, that. you know, not all, yeah. not all of the, not all of the Christians have your strict anti-profanity uh, rules. I've noticed, <laughs> especially not down in the South where I'm from. Um, uh, <laughs> you let's, never seen uh, that before. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, oh, let's, no, um, yes, you did. G-Man. <laughs> no, I did. How dare you? No, G-Man, stop. <laughs> Fucking sucks! Jeez, G-Man, so rude. <laughs> Fuck, buddy. I, <laughs> I can't help, dude, I can't help but girly giggle every time I hear it. It's just... Which Fucking one? sucks! <laughs> <laughs> you're another one, Paul's ego. Yeah, you, I mean, you're another one. You're on my Skype, man. You don't call nobody. What's, you know uh, what I mean? like, what's, what's next on the agenda for the show? Oh, I was, um, let's see. My rap. Your rap is over. It. Your yeah, rap is over. It. Oh, it's, okay. it's over. Oh, wait. Actually, we're going to go to Tim Black. Tim next, Black. So let's, uh, let's watch his final okay. video. Tim Black. All right. Yeah. Tim Black. I find it very entertaining to listen to this weird bastard make excuses for his fetishes. Excuses for and my weirdness. fetishes. That is your philosophical leader and your little movement. A man who went... Oh, you missed it. Oh, that, Some... That's the infamous banana video. Yeah. Okay. Deep in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Sodomize <laughs> himself. Banana in his butt. So fun. You know, I want to talk... Yeah, the Brett Keith took away my virginity when I first saw this video because he's the one who showed it to me. There you go. <laughs> wow. Of course, of Just course he did. Took away my my visual virginity when I first saw the, this. <laughs> the, the beginning of that statement, uh, Brett Keen took my virginity. I was like, uh, no, on. no, no. He took my, <laughs> my visual. My visual. It's not virginity. what you said at first. So he and fucked I was you like, in the Bray. eye. What's going on here? Yeah. Popped your eyeball out. No, <laughs> no. I watched that video. You sticking that banana up your butt. That's what <laughs> Talk about a story here. <laughs> There was a, a philosopher. It's so weird that we're watching ourselves. Watching. Right. It's very strange. Yeah. Very Back in the old Greek days named Diogenes. And uh, one of the things he did was he uh, masturbated in public. And when the authorities of the time were like, hey, you masturbated in public. He was like, no, I didn't. I was just uh, scratching, scratching my, my belly and yeah. my dick. You know, it got in the way. It just got in the way. And... Um, I think I'm the spiritual heir to Diogenes, so I think that that's where that's coming from. It's a tradition of sexual perversion that reaches back through the ages. What the fuck you talking about, atheist? I pity the fool. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I gotta. That's gotta be. If I ever do like another intro or outro, I gotta put that in there. Yep. Yeah. It's too classic. The fuck is you talking about, atheist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout this video, he's all sweating and like wiping that's gotta his head be, off. Oh, Ben, that's got to be a drop. You got to, we got to get that as a drop. Yeah, yeah we, do need we it. totally need that. We need to start doing that more often with these clips in general. Like whenever we hear something really fucking off the wall like that, we got to like start building a soundboard with it. Tim the bartender. He's a Christian. He calls himself Tim the bartender. I don't. I'm not. We're. Not, I'm not. We're not 100 percent sure about his religious beliefs. Yeah, so. not sure. About I don't that. want to assume he's a Christian, but I mean, he kind of talks like he is sometimes. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't sound like one some of weird me. shit. Don't nobody care about that. What is this shit? How many of my brothers watch this shit? Okay, no. If you not. are black and you watch, uh, he's, he's gonna. <laughs> he's about to say if you're black and you watch this shit, they need to take your black card away or something like that okay watch this shit let me know okay. somebody will be around promptly to remove your black card motherfucker what is this shit oh. it's garbage oh, so this okay. guy this guy speaks for all black people that's good to know no he doesn't 
no. I'm no. yeah, I, I, I'm I'm very aware that he does not, but um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, he it seems like in his own mind he does. Yes, you know, he's like, I will revoke your blackness. Like, I love no. I love how he's he's uh you know hearkening to like Southern Baptist preachers by mopping his brow with a white yep. handkerchief as he does this. He's I got to I mean, got to incorporate that into my video. He starts talking you really like do. one later. It should be on. a, should I use a black handkerchief cuz I'm yeah. white? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think that's right. the rule. No man with rhythm should watch this shit. Your rhythm will slip away spontaneously. All coolness gone. See you. Fucking with the amazing analyst. <laughs> analyst. <That> analyst, analyst. <laughs> Get it? Because he gets in and he magnifies your asshole and he, he studies your asshole. What? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Yeah, see, I, I, think I, I like it too. With you. I, think I like the look on his face. I oh, know yeah, we've yeah, been exactly. saying that we've been saying that for the last two videos. Actually, TJ has kind of been like, "Hey, you want to go out sometime?" Yeah, you know, I was, <laughs> I was kind of seeing, you know, if maybe Chris uh, recipro- he's he gets angry when I do that. It's yeah. very it's very interesting how angry he gets. Um, <laughs> let's uh let's keep going. Well, he, yeah, he's obsessed with your butt. That's another story. I know, it's very funny. Call me a homophobe. I'll call you a heterophobe, bitch. You're a heterophobic. I'm heterophobic. Okay. What's that? I oh, okay. guess that means you don't want to board up women. sexuality. I don't know. Because you Did lack you sex. I lack sex. Yes, he is married. I am married. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it doesn't. No, it's no, no. not like any of this is supposed to. It's not like any of this shit touches we already, on reality. Anymore. We already talked about this. Tim Tim said, you know, whose dick did you suck to get? Uh, you know, their daughter to, to marry you. Remember? Right. So yeah, he knows I'm married. He said that last week. Yep. So now, but now all of a sudden I don't get any. <laughs> I guess he, I guess he thinks it's just a, a cold, barren, sexless marriage. Okay. Okay. I don't think you, <laughs> I don't think no woman uploaded that video either. I think that was you looking for attention. Live said some woman uploaded no, it. You the only uploaded that shit. looking for attention is this bartender guy right now. <laughs> I know, He's right? the only person looking for attention right now. Because he seems to be obsessed with you and what you're doing with your banana, and going and, and, and going into a lot of detail about it. I know, well, like I'm, every. I'm telling you though, uh, G man, you when you first came on the show, that's the first thing you wanted to ask was why did he put a banana in his butt? Oh, that's yeah, a good I, question. I was just curious, and I mean, I'm still want to know. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. It was you. a ritual. Would you? He did it. Would you, he, he did it for would you like him to pleasure. show you again, G man? What happened? No, I think somebody made a bet with you. I think I think you did it because somebody made a bet with you and you lost and you had to do it. No, I think that's why you did it. He no. did it because he liked it. <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> I've that, done. That's yeah. what happened. I've done plenty of weird stuff. Trust me. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I've I've been watching some of your older stuff. I I, I hear you, and <laughs> I use some of that material in my videos sometimes. <laughs> uh. I'm, I, you know, it's just you need you need to do more <laughs> videos about me because I could be a gold mine for you, G man. You just go through and you just start refuting every amazing atheist video, and you'll get you could just you can call yourself uh, the amazing counter atheist or something, and you just go around and you refute everything I do at all times. You can be my professional expert refuter. <laughs> what's t- what's Tim the bartender gonna do then? I don't know. Oh, that's true. That's Follow puts Tim. That puts lead, Tim bro. out of a job. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I forgot. Sorry, Tim. We forgot you were there, buddy. Let's play some more. Yeah. Market oh, employee. Yeah. And your tight ass corduroys. I know what type of guy you are. <laughs> Last picked. Did he say tight ass corduroys? Yeah. I wear I wear giant loose baggy jeans just for tight corduroys. <laughs> Just for like, I know what kind reference. of guy you are. You're one of them tight corduroy guys. <laughs> yeah, the ones I'm always staring at in the mall. Yeah. I mean, How come I mean, I've never uh, heard of this guy because I hate them. <laughs> Watching they supple asses as they walk up and down the promenade. I yeah, know what kind of guy. How does he know you wear corduroys? He like, doesn't. Like, I don't. He, I don't. He doesn't. He's just imagining me in corduroys. He's like, I know you wearing them tight pants, boy. Come on. <laughs> and a belly shirt too, so I can just see your belly button. I know what you're wearing. Oh <laughs> you wearing a black lace like thong just, under there? Bet you smell like I lavender. I bet you are. You just, got out of, you just got out of the shower. Yeah. 
hair is still a little damp from the shower. <laughs> oh my God. Your neck in between your you know what? I think I think I think when you go take your showers, you need to close your windows if you have a window in your bathroom because <laughs> he might be stalking you or something. I don't know. Wow. You might I'm be so stalking glad. you. Suds. Silk suds running down the crack of your ass. You know, I know what kind of guy you are. Tim the, Tim the stalker. Tim the stalker wow. bartender. Tim the stalker. <clears throat> stalker. Stalker. He been trying to mislead you. Lead you astray. He been trying to get you to be indoctrinated with the, with the word. I say with the word of nothing. But hey, not here to judge that man, but I am here to show love. Love for him sending you to this page with your nasty ass. Oh yeah, you nasty motherfucker if you came from the amazing atheist. Cause he's a nasty motherfucker. Now I know some of you are casual observers of his fuckery. Well let me tell you what Ooh, you're gonna like get here. Too. And for those normal fans of mine, those regular subscribers of mine, this video is not for you, but please sit back. Drink a drink. Relax, hit your feet up. Drink this and one. Drink, cuss, and be just as derogatory as you're saying TJ is. He's a hypocrite. <laughs> I, I really want to know if this guy considers himself a Christian or something, so I got to chat with him. But listen, man, uh, you're doing a, a very bad job at representing my side, a very poor job of it, you know? Yeah, I don't know if he is, so I can't really say anything about nasty. that. I'm going to find out. I'm going to make it my business to find out. All right. Yeah, he is kind of hypocritical because he, he, he attacks me for things that he does himself for the most part. Yeah, with his so, mouth. Pretty right. much his mouth is just as dirty as what he's saying that you are and whatnot. So he well, needs I mean, to go check I, himself I, before he talks about somebody else. I am a foul-mouthed, angry, opinionated motherfucker, and he is too. But, you know, I'm not coming after him on that basis. Like, man, why are you always yelling and cursing and being all foul-mouthed and having opinions and shit? Because, I mean... The, It'd be hypocritical of me to do because that's the exact same fucking thing I do and am. So, I mean, I actually relate a lot to this guy in terms of, like, content style because he has a similar delivery and mode of uh, fucking... I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's why he's so angry because he's like, man, I should be the one with 580,000 subs or whatever. I do this shit better than this white boy does. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he's definitely copying you. Um, how long has he been on YouTube? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I like a year or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, try to get his attention. And, you know, I'm not as big as you, but I have my ways. <laughs> you, you might be getting his attention now. Yeah, you, you probably may be. are. Yeah. It's for yeah, those. He's, oh, okay. he's, he's watching. Tim the he's... bartender. I am G man, and I would love to have an audience with you because if you yeah. ever come out and say that you're a Christian, I'm gonna call you out on that because you're not. Not talking like that. You're not. No. He's he's watching right now, furiously masturbating to TJ's corduroy <laughs> ass. I still want to know how the heck he knew you was wearing corduroys, even though you're not wearing. You it, it's it's just one of those. It's I mean that's the funny thing is like it's just a little vivid detail of his mind's eye that he just <laughs> he wanted me in tight corduroys, so he put me in tight corduroys. I mean that's just how it what it boils down to. Toes <laughs> who been trolling my damn page, just trolling it. I see you trolling. Keep trolling, 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 trolling. I, him, I said, look, hey, I don't got a problem with you being gay, but don't try to force that gay man sex shit on me, bruh. That ain't how I roll. So how I've been bashed for it. How was a banana up his butt forcing homosexuality? Well, well, what happened was when we were when we were watching the original video, we were making like, I'd say in the first video, we made some slight jokes at his expense because he kind of seemed a little uptight about it. And then he got really upset. So, of course, in the next video, we, like, really doubled down. Well, I did, anyway. I doubled down on just, like, making a lot of very, like, um, homosexual or, like, homoerotic remarks towards him, basically. So he's probably referring to that. Mm. But, I mean, it okay. wasn't... It was really done in jest just to kind of piss him off because he's kind of oh, an okay. idiot about it who gets, like, you know, really... I mean, it was, it's apparent, but, I mean, he, he doesn't really seem to get the joke. For him, it's just like, oh, well, he's pissed off, so he can't see past the fact that he's angry to what's actually going on, which is just me pushing his buttons intentionally, which is not hard to do because he's a very irascible person. Did you invite him to your program at all? 
No, but he's he he said he wants to come on, Will so it? we're gonna get him on here. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a moment because he he mentions that in this video, and I just want to get through this video here. Okay, well, we, right. we, we should probably try to get through it a little faster then. All right, because I call them butt pirates, because I call them salami smugglers, because I call them smoke pole smokers. That's what they are. Holy shit! I uh, just realized yeah. this That's is a what black. They are. This is a black version of you my know, fucking stepdad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a pretty he's like preaching, but he's not preaching. He's I don't preaching. Know what he's, doing. he's preaching his own little gospel. You gonna skip a little bit ahead? Yeah. He's sexy, and the men don't fuck the other men in the ass. And that's not homophobic. That's just the way. We like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. bitch. I like how he's. I like how I make a few, like, slightly like I make a few gay jokes at him, and he ha and he feels the need to make this like long presentation about how heterosexual he is. That's because like, yeah, you know I mean like he's... that's not the reaction of an actually comfortable in his heterosexuality man. Just so you know. No. Like, this just makes it look like there's something to what I said. You realize that, yeah. right? You have the self-awareness to see that, don't you? Like, this is yeah, the over this is the <laughs> overcompensation of someone who's, like, you know, got some sort of struggle within themselves that they're not making public. So... Yeah, to give you some yeah, downer bullshit. Yeah. Unfortunately, because some of the amazing atheist fans were upset about what I said about TJ. My videos are being flagged, therefore I must discontinue all fun talk about TJ. TJ, you win. You win. The internet, that's what he wins, folks. He wins the internet. TJ, I won, won the, the internet. internet. Wow. What the fuck? All right, my first decree is all the feminists are kicked off of Tumblr. And I don't even know what else yet, but some more shit's going to happen. From now on, all, yeah, go all Google results will be porn. That'll be my next decree. Uh, so why are people flagging his channel? I don't know. We, I, I don't no, think... one, no one said to flag his channel. Yeah. I don't, we don't even know if people really are flagging his channel. That could just be a talking point. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Could have happened. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you if anyone, fans, if, if anyone, them, you would be gone look, by now. if anyone did flag Tim the bartender, don't fucking do that shit yeah. in the future. We don't support that. We don't want that. That's not, you know, a, that's not a method of support that we care to encourage. So just know that if you do choose to do something like that, you do so in defiance of, you know, what we would want. So, yeah. I'll tell you folks, yeah. it was. It's been fun. It's been entertaining. Uh, TJ, if you want to have me on the Drunken Podcast, man, just, you know, send me an invitation and I will be there and we'll keep it fun You've got an invitation. and entertaining because I'm sure we have Bring some similarities now. but some Bring differences. I don't know if we can All get right. him here now. You know, I'm still not apologizing for being an asshole. I hope you will not apologize for being an asshole because that would ruin the fun See, I respect I mean, you as a human he, being. He basically... He just said he respects you as a human being. That's because he knows this is all a fucking pageant and a yeah. game. I mean, you know, it, 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 you, if you're on YouTube long enough, you know it's kind of like the WWE to an extent. Like, you gotta, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You gotta, Don't break kayfabe. Predetermined. Uh, you're, breaking, you're breaking kayfabe. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like it's predetermined, but I mean, everyone kind of fucking plays shit up. The people who don't don't really get the kind of attention they want. So everyone TJ knows that kayfabe. you know people have to exaggerate their characters and shit. I mean, it's just like the reality of how you fucking entertain people. No one wants to hear you just like sit there and dryly state your opinions in a fucking polite and respectful manner. That's boring as shit. No one likes that. People want to see you yell and scream and get passionate and irate. Like and fuck this bullshit. Yeah. Fantasize as as about what your it, opponent as is wearing. Much as, <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, it is true. It is definitely true. Nobody wants to watch a boring channel. You're right about that. Exactly right. You're right about that. 
We're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a break, and we'll be back. We'll do. We're gonna be doing some more like news related stories when we get back. Yeah. So, G Man, uh, when you come on the show next week, we can have Tim the bartender on too. Uh, according to him, your uh, your black card should have got revoked by now because well, you've been I'm on gonna our show. bring my black card, and I want to <laughs> hear like why he made all these comments about uh, the amazing atheist lie. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I'm looking more like- forward to my rap battle, baby. <laughs> I like how G-Man's on our side. <laughs> I know. I was kind of. Like I didn't really know where he was going to fall on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, G-Man. I think we're going to let you go, Paul. We're going to have Thank you back. Thank you for being on, G-Man. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Thank you for having me. All, All right. right. See you next easy, Thursday, G-Man. G-Man. All right, Paul. We're gonna we're gonna uh, hang up on you for a little while, but we'll be back with some news shit. So we'll be calling you in like ten minutes. All right. Sounds good. All, All right, right, man. See you soon. We'll be right back.
We are back. What? We're back. What? We're back, TJ. Isn't that that movie about the uh, dinosaurs? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. We're back. A dinosaur story. Yeah. Yep. So, uh... Strange little reference. Do you want to talk about the t-shirt? Yeah, get Paul back on first. You want to bring Paul on to show the t-shirt? Yeah. All right. Let's see what he thinks of our shirt. Paul Zigo. Of our potential shirt. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Paul. I don't know if Paul will be able to see it, though. That's the problem. Just put it over on that screen. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Yeah. All right. Do-do-do-do-do. Paul, we want to show you a shirt we might do. Okay. We want to know your opinion of this shirt, and if you think it's, like, a good shirt that would be worth buying for humans to wear upon their torsos. Yeah, I wasn't prepared to bring it up this way. Ben Slow. It's all good. (laughs) Boo Ben. Boo. Boo, ben, boo. boo, run for mayor someplace else. Oh, I forgot that that's up there. Yeah, get rid of that guys, shit. If you've got like just an image of it, you could. Yeah, that's what um, we're doing. Shoot it over. over. There we go. Uh, that's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not going to work. Hold on. What the fuck is going on? Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold Whoa. On, hold, on. Hold, on, <laughs> hold on. 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 All this shit's flying through. What the fuck? This is amazing. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it stopped on the perfect one. Oh, what the no. fuck, dude? Hold on. <sighs> shit. Shit. <laughs> Flying by. <laughs> Meaty All right, we're back. That was weird. Yeah, it was like showing all these crazy images and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was dead. So we're going to do it a different way. Because <clears throat> we can't do it that way. So, yeah. Okay, I can do that's it fine. Way. <laughs> no, Paul, it's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop acting like things are fine when they're not. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Can you see it? I can see it, yeah. All right. What do you think of that, Paul? That's pretty fucking cool. I'd buy one. Yeah, see? What do the people think? What What do you think, people in the audience? Would you purchase a shirt like this if it were on sale for you to buy with your money? Tell us now, fucking mindless drones. Yeah. Uh, people are saying I'm too loud in the, uh, so I'm turning myself down a little bit. Okay, cool. Sorry, fucking sorry, garbage, internet. Paul. Sorry, internet. fucking garbage. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get to a story in, in this fucking disaster. Okay. Let's see here. But I hope people want the shirt. Yes. People are saying yes, they do. Okay. People are saying the shirt is the greatest shirt they've ever fucking seen in their lives. And they wouldn't even consider... If they had a shirt like that, they wouldn't even wear any other shirts. That's pretty crazy. I have to ask, would the shirt be available in like 3X and below? I don't know. Because a homie like me needs a 3X, you know what I mean? I, I, gotta... I, I, I need like a 2XLT or a 3XLT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, it has to have that T there, too, because I'm so fucking tall, and I have, like, a super long torso as well. All right. My legs are only, like, three inches apiece. I'm mostly torso. I'm kind of like a serpent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, you know what? I see how Paul's too loud. I'm, I'm going to fix that because okay. Paul turning himself down is not going to fix that. It always happens when we leave the call and then come back into the call for some reason. Yeah, Ben needs to fix things with his technical skills. Yeah, right. On the drunken peasants, we have to resort to fucking fixing shit on the fly. Talk, Paul. All right. Uh, oh, is that God, better? S- no, not really. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're horrible, having all, Paul. Yeah, we're having all kinds of trouble. All right. Okay. 
I just. I, turn- I wish this is the time in the show where we need someone okay. who can like juggle or something. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so now you're better, Paul. We're having technical difficulties. Go to juggling girl. Let him talk. Go ahead. All right. Paul. Testing one two three. Testing. Yeah. Better. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. You can even turn your mic up a little bit if you want. Okay. Uh, testing. Testing. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. I like. I miss blaring Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I sorry, Paul, I, I I couldn't I want hear it. Paul's so so I want Paul's voice to be so loud that it drowns out all reality as we know it. I want to just live in his voice and just wrap it around me like little fucking bed sheets. Oh shit! Somebody somebody in the chat said, "No, Paul, it's not better. You're still fucking talking." Oh, oh, oh. you got dissed, Paul. Oh, you gonna take dissed. that shit? I don't. I don't. I don't take shit? no shit. I take no shit. I, they're still they're everybody's still saying I'm too loud, but it could be trolling at this point. I don't know. No one cares. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Just be too loud then. Okay. That's your thing. Own that thing, Paul. I'll own it. Let's lo- let's fucking watch a news story. All right. Russians mock Obama with laser show. Well, that sounds like I mean like does it I mean we almost don't even need to watch the story. But let's do it. <laughs> Russian vitriol directed at the United States and President Obama has intensified. First, the foreign minister tweeted pictures of President Putin holding a cheetah and President Obama holding a poodle. (laughs) And then there is this, a laser light show in Moscow showing President Obama eating a banana and also wishing him happy birthday. Putin's government did not put this out, but the U.S. Embassy, but this is projected onto the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. And oh President Putin God. slapped sanctions on the United States and other countries. Oh, wow. It's, it's, I mean, like, did our country, I mean, do we go from a cold war to a prank war? What's going on here? This, yeah, I actually I, think this is pretty awesome. I, I like, like <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if this is how Russia and the United States are going to feud with each other, just let it happen, you know? Yeah. Because this could be fun. We could just have, like, a massive international prank war between America and Russia. This could, uh, this could escalate into some pretty interesting areas. Yeah, I mean, sure. I, don't, I don't know how you beat uh, putting a picture of you deep-throating a banana on your embassy, <laughs> but, I mean, I'd like to see where it goes next. I think that, the, you know, and interestingly enough, the banana used in that image is the same one that, you know, I famously used as well. <laughs> it was? Yes. That banana gets around. Um, no, but Obama, uh, you know, I think that, you know, we need to go steal their mascot or something, you know, before the big game. Yeah, or like uh, get a picture of Obama oh. giving Putin like a gigantic purple nurple. Like a double purple nurple when he takes his shirt. You know how Putin takes his shirt off for every photo op? Yeah, get a, get a good picture of like a double purple nurple on those glorious Putin nips. We could just have like a, uh, you know, you could just have like Obama, like Putin's like on his like hands and knees and Obama's just like sitting on him and like just fucking flashing cash in his face and shit. Like, yeah, USA, we got money, bitch. <laughs> Since we're going to be, like, you know, doing economic sanctions and shit. Or maybe just draw a laser dick on the Kremlin or something. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. maybe yeah, we, might be getting, we might be getting too mature with this, you know? Just yeah. big, not even, maybe an inflatable dick on the Kremlin, yeah, you know? Like, those, get, but like, a, but a really get, like, black brutal. ops to go, like, undercover and fucking do some Assassin's Creed shit where they mount the fucking dick. Yeah, and like then they inflate the, it. It has to be a really crudely drawn dick, though. It can't be, like, an actual dick. I, no, I, no. If I, have, if I have one criticism of the the Russian thing. It was a little too detailed, a little too. Yeah, yeah. I I just want to see a crudely drawn dick on the Kremlin as a response. And you know, and then at, at midnight it could shoot like cum, but it'd be like white streamers of paper that you know get <laughs> yeah, all over yeah. the streets and shit. That would it'd be, be pretty cool. awesome. Yeah, we need to get on this. I want to be made the uh, the head of the U.S. Army U.S. Army's uh, prank division, <laughs> so we can respond to this outrage. Countries, in short, he says, "Keep your food. We don't want it." Phil Black is in Moscow to tell us more. Hi, Phil. 
Hey, Carol. Yeah, as recently as a week ago, the Russian government was saying we don't do tit-for-tat sanctions, but now they've clearly thrown that policy completely to one side, and you're right. They're saying no to Western food, and this is really significant. For the next year, they are banning all imports of beef, pork, fruit, vegetable, poultry, seafood, cheese, and milk in all forms, fresh, frozen, processed, whatever, and this applies to the United, uh, the United States, obviously, the European Union, Australia, Canada, and Norway. No to Western food. This is significant because Russia is not capable of feeding itself. Its, its domestic agriculture industry cannot meet that well, demand. You know, so what this means got, is that Russia must... If you got too many people to feed, just let some of them starve, then you don't have as much. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe that's the... Maybe that's the thinking here. I don't know. What do we ban to get back at him for this? Like Matroska dolls? Yeah. F fuzzy winter hats? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something that comes from Russia. Um, <laughs> caviar, maybe? Mm, yeah. they, they do make a lot of caviar there. Huh. Snow. A lot of fucking snow. Yeah. Make snow. We should ban the export of snow from Russia. Crushing their economy in one fell swoop. Yep. <laughs> now try and boost that, pro its ability uh, and its efficiency uh, to feed its own people. And it's going to have to look for imports from other markets as well. Probably Asia, probably uh, South America. Otherwise, it could face People in Russia shortages. are going to get real fond of wontons very soon. Yep. You want shrimp fried rice? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was vodka. racist. Ban vodka. Uh. No more vodka. Vodka. Oh man, that would suck. If that that's what they import, vodka. Yeah, lots of vodka. But oh shit, you know let's not let's not let's not do this. Let's just let's apologize. Yeah, let's apologize. And and, yeah. <laughs> There's other places to get uh, vodka from, but it's not Russian. No, it's not food increases in prices and that could ultimately blow back against president putin and his government i don't think so yeah i i thought it was kind of funny it's, it's just like i mean the problem with the idea that it's going to blow back is that they're just like he just has that that status of like he has the right level of beloved and feared that no one's ever going to think that anything that he did is the cause of anything bad that happens yeah. It's always going to be someone else's fault. Oh, this is the West's fault. Oh, this is some other incompetent bureaucrat's fault. Whatever. It's not going to be Putin's it, fault. I think it could blow back, though, in terms of their ability to feed people. It's like, that, that really, isn't that what they say? Is like, take away the food. Like, you, you, if, if all grocery stores disappeared tomorrow, in one day, there would be basically zombies running the streets and eating each other. It, well, I mean, like, look, it, it, I mean, it hasn't really stopped North Korea from being under like this, the strict control of that regime. But they're they're pretty brutal in how they they enforce things, though. Everyone's like terrified of the prison camps, and everyone's basically conditioned from birth to basically have a religious reverence for their, you know, whoever their beloved leader is at the time. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be interesting to see because they've got this westernized kind of media now in in Russia, and. Uh, when, when I say westernized, I mean like Fox News, you know, uh, and and it'll be interesting to see how that uh, how they how they react to that, like how the how the Russian media reacts to people starving because we're no longer importing American beef. Probably blame America and Obama. Yeah. Because I think that uh, even I mean, I don't I mean, if you have an, of uh, a somewhat independent media. I think they're probably still scared of Putin. Yeah. Yeah, you're TJ probably right. Scared. TJ isn't scared of Putin, though. I ain't scared of no Putin. Get that motherfucker on the drunken peasants. <laughs> I'm that would scared be the greatest. of Putin. You are? Oh, yeah. I would bitch yeah, slap I would... that little bitch. Fuck him. <laughs> I, he'd just, no, fuck, no. He'd walk up to you and just demand to he, you give him something. I know. I'll give him something. A fucking He'd fist say, in you his give face. me shirt. And then he just cross my guy you in the neck. I don't care. It'd be ugly. No, no. Fuck you his don't think so? Bra. You think you could take Putin? 
I could take Putin. Holy I've shit. looked in, I've looked into his eyes, <laughs> and I have determined that I could take him. As long as I got the surprise attack, you know, because I do the thing where I look all timid and shit, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to capitulate to you, and then it's all of a sudden, bam, you know? Oh, okay, got it. So you if I get the haymaker. This, yeah, I got to get that surprise, you didn't even fucking see it coming hit. If right. that doesn't work, then he's probably going to kick my ass. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah do you want to do Hashtag some uh, TJ Putin 2014 do you want to do some question videos while we have Paul yeah sure let's let's get let's do some of the questions we can maybe go back to news stories later okay drunken pheasants what is the Sound best like way to pheasants. Gain confidence and what you is a your fucking favorite? idiot boo <laughs> boo Boo! Run for mayor someplace else. I think he said pheasants. That's why I'm angry. And least favorite Paul's ego video. Thanks. Oh, favorite and least favorite Paul's ego video. Is that what is that what the question was? Yeah, yes. I think so. Oh. So that was on you, Paul. I ha well, let oh, me... I have to answer what my own favorite yes. video of mine is. Yeah, because you're here, so you got to go first. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I don't know. I like. I like, uh, I, I uh, know for a fact I could not answer this question about my own channel. So yeah, I don't blame you for being like, I don't know. The, the, the American ashamed video, I think is one of my favorites. That is a great video. I would say that that probably would be at least in contention for my favorite Paul's ego video. And, uh, cause that one just was like, you know, a genuine outpouring of emotion that happened spontaneously. It was a, and and it ended up causing a lot of talk, which was good. It was one of the last times I had any significant interaction on YouTube, you know, with other with other people beyond, you know, people were making video responses to it. And that just that just doesn't happen anymore. Well, there's so, not even you can't even do video responses anymore. Yeah, That's I mean, gone. they've removed. But I mean, people, you, you, people don't even bother to, like, respond to other people's videos, really. I mean, you guys are the only ones really doing it. And you do it here on a podcast, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we found a format where we can make it work again. So My least kind of favorite neat. least favorite Paul's ego video is anything like any pick any of the first like four videos on the channel. They're awful. I would <laughs> say I would say the video that you tried to make against me defending Brett Keane is probably one of the worst ever. Oh, yeah, um and that, then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. I remember that one. The uh, that was that was bad too. Yeah. That was that's made that that's not only was it bad, but it's just made worse by the history that happened since. You yeah, know what I'm saying. You know, yeah, like I, I, I wasn't in hindsight, it's like, oh fuck. Yeah, why did that I wasn't even... just wrong. Like I was ultra fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like being wrong and then having it come back and kick you in the nuts every time something stupid happens with Brett Keane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, I felt I, I remember I was I was under the Brett Keen spell for a while too, though, so I can't really be too critical. <laughs> you, you know what, dude? Brett Keen is such a good glad hander. Like, cause he when he when I made that video, cause most of that video was him. Yeah. Um. When I made that video, I felt good about what I was doing. Like I was doing him a like he had me in this room, and he was like. Hey Paul, you know you could really help me out, and blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> and I'm usually not the kind of guy that, that that acquiesces to stuff like that, but he, he like charmed me. Yeah, and he does like, that. Yeah, he's he, and then you know, that's like I, his I, one real true like his true his true talent is just being able to like kind of manipulate people to his will in a very short term way. Like, he hasn't mastered the art of actually keeping them on his side over a long right. period of time. But he's mastered the art of just getting people to be like, wow, this Brett Keen guy is pretty cool, and he's real nice, and he's helpful. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. and he seems like a real down-to-earth guy. And you're like, wow, <laughs> I just, just want to help him out and just help him succeed and enable him, especially since he got this raw deal on YouTube just trying to protect his family. <laughs> exactly. And people attacked his family. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course they did. Cuz Brett Keane is always the innocent victim. That's yeah, the that greatest would probably thing about him. Be, 
that was a series. That was a two part series uh, video. I made one after it that was even worse, I think, because I, <laughs> I tried to pull the whole ha. You reacted just like I said you would card, and it didn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just, really didn't fly. So yeah, you that, know, it, it, that, I never understood that as an argument anyway, because it's like, yeah, well, you know, it's like I I fucked your wife, and then you're angry, and it's like I knew you'd be angry. It's like you know, it, it's just like whatever. Of course, you could predict what's going to happen. Right. One of my favorite Paul Zigo videos was one that he made about. I I, I think you went out on a date with. Uh, the woman you you ended up marrying, and uh -huh. you you ate sushi, and, oh, and you yeah. couldn't you couldn't stand sushi, and you're about to like puke all over the table the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I spent uh, about an hour and a half with one piece of sushi in my mouth, trying <laughs> desperately, trying desperately to get it to like slither down my throat. You know, as it gets slimier as you hold it, and your mouth. throat it was... is just rejecting it. It was the worst. Yeah, that was the worst uh, first date. Like, it, it did not happen like a fairy tale with my wife and I. Like, that <laughs> first date, she kept leaving, like, uh, in the middle of the movie. So we went and saw Mighty Wind, which is that, I don't know if you've ever seen it, that stupid mockumentary made by the guys that did, uh, uh, oh, fuck, why am I trying to talk about things like this when I'm stoned? Just don't even worry <laughs> about it. Just keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, she kept leaving the theater. Like, she'd get up to go to the bathroom eight different times. And then at the end, she was like, do you have any tattoos? And I was like, yeah, I've got a tattoo. And, uh, and she goes, oh, I fucking hate tattoos. It was, it was the worst. <laughs> it was the worst fucking first date. I never thought I was getting called back. But, why, did uh, she, well, why did she ask like that then? You know? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind yeah. of leading you. I mean, like even if you didn't have a tattoo, you'd almost exactly. be like, "Yeah, damn right I do." <laughs> I can't show you right now, though. And then I'll I'd show you later. About, like, yeah, run to the tattoo parlor. I'll be right back, sweetie. Yeah, run to the tattoo parlor. Come on, put something quick on me. I don't know. Whatever's cheapest. <laughs> Woodstock Here you go. It's it's a yeah. You know, <laughs> I got Woodstock on my tailbone. It's like a tramp <laughs> stamp. Yeah. There you go. That's my badass tat. <laughs> All right, what's next? Really I like how this guy. fucking... No, he didn't. I like how this random dude's face was just on the screen the whole time yeah. we were talking about this shit. <laughs> yeah. It really was. <laughs> uh. Hello, drunken peasants. In the past, TJ has said that he believes that no, MRAs are just as bad as feminists. However, in the debate last podcast, you guys tended to agree with Janet. I can see like why you wouldn't want to identify as a MRA, but I don't get why they're equally bad. Even in uh, TJ's last video, Feminism Against Women, he said that he believed there were no more real women's issues in the Western world. And uh, it's apparent that you believe there are men's issues. So it seems like a men's rights movement would be more fitting. Also, why did you decide to have <laughs> Awesome Rants as the feminist in the debate? Well, the reason we had Awesome Rants as the feminist in the debate is pretty easy. She's the only feminist that we could actually get to come on our show. And she was very reasonable. Right. So that's why that was the case. And I would, I would resent the idea that I agreed disproportionately with Janet. I would say that I agreed with, you know, each of them on different points. And I kind of tried to keep my opinion to myself for the most part. You know, I intervened a few times when I thought it was going to be slowing down a little. Um, I don't know that I'm not, I'm not really here to comment on um, whether you know, who, who's like the biggest group of assholes on the internet, whether it's the MRAs or the feminists. When I say they're both equally bad, I mean that they're both making this fundamental error of thinking that you can, you know, remedy inequality between the sexes by focusing only on the interest of one side. Um, right. That's you what can... I view as the fundamental issue there. Yeah, you can solve a binary problem by focusing on one point in that binary. Right. 
There's ones and zeros. Let's focus yeah. on the ones and try to figure things out that way. It's like, no, right. you have to have a broader picture. So that's my criticism, really, of, of both sides. And I have actually pr I've actually brought those criticisms to Janet Bloomfield, and she seems to agree with me, honestly. I, but, I mean, I, obviously she has, she's going to continue to lie with the men's rights movement because there is no real... I guess gender egalitarian is what I would say. I guess there's other people who use different terms, but um, I don't really see a, a larger movement, organized movement for something like that yet. But I would imagine that it wouldn't be far off before people start, you know, to develop that as that the gender politics issues kind of keep rising in you know culture and social media and so forth. Yeah. Paul, do you have a dick joke to go at the end of that? Or yeah, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a lot of fucking time to come up with some kind of dick or fart joke there, and you then did. I'm just finished, and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I just I agree. I know, but you <laughs> were supposed to, to you were supposed to come up with a dick or fart <laughs> joke though. I, you're, that I'm was sorry. insert dick or fart joke, and then Ben was the backup in case you could didn't have anything. But, Shit. Shit. But no. Man. Fuck you guys you, failed me. You guys failed me. The show's Fuck fucking you. canceled. We haven't yep. played that in a while. You want me Good to play night, that? Play that. Especially, it's even better now that his show is canceled and he's fucking disgraced and shit. Or I don't know, maybe it was the other one that did that. Who cares? Fuck you, Bill Maher. Fuck you, <laughs> Bill Maher. Fuck I'm you! Sister fight. Fuck your mother in our fucking asshole. Go fuck yourself. That cunt is a douchebag, and I fucking hate him. He gets on his dumb fuck show and talks shit like that all the time. Fuck yo! Fuck yo! Oh, fuck yo! Fuck yo! I like it. Hey guys, like it too. so here's my question. Which one of the two following scenarios would convince more theists that there is probably no god? A. Contact Good. with a perfectly rational civili alien civilization that have never had any religion and the whole concept of God is just unintelligible to them. Or B. Contact with an alien civilization that does have a religion, but their religion is obviously derived from their biology. So, for example, if the species practices sexual cannibalism, then they have a commandment saying, Thou shall devour your husband after you know him. Thanks. So which which one of those scenarios is more likely to to challenge theism, I guess is what he's asking. Yeah. I I don't know. I mean, theistic people tend to kind of have an attitude of like, well, everyone else is wrong. I mean, they have no problem saying the rest of the world is wrong when it's like, we believe in Jesus. Yeah. Well, a lot of people around the world don't. In fact, the majority of people don't believe in Jesus. They're like, well, well they're all wrong and going to hell. Looking at like particularly American Christians, I think they'd have a much harder time with the sexual cannibalism race. They would... You know, I don't know. There's would... a lot of that already in, in, their, in, in Christianity. I don't really think that's that strange. I mean, you already go and take the fucking sacrament and eat the, the blood and flesh of Christ and shit. Um, and, yeah, uh, you, you know... You got a point. There's, there's a lot of sexual and cannibalistic stuff in Christianity, so I don't even I... think it would be that much of a stretch for them. See, I can already envision the outreach campaign, though, to the atheistic aliens. Like, they just like, oh, well, we got to bring them the light of the Lord. They just ain't never done heard of it. Whereas if these other things come down and it's a sexual practice or, a, you know, a, a religious practice for them to masturbate in public, they're going to be like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn what the alien! Fuck is it? I think they would still have the same reaction, though. They'd be like, these, athe these aliens are heathens. Manifest destiny, bitch. This planet is ours in the name of God the Father. Hmm. It'd be like the new Crus Crusades, basically. <coughs> oh, it'd be the, it'd be like the fattest, laziest crusade ever, though. <laughs> Can you Ugh. imagine like American Christianity rising up? It'd be like, yeah. <laughs> we got to convert the, these heathen aliens. Convert we gonna them. Send them back to their heathen planet. Yep. I can just I'm I'm seeing the fucking Duck Dynasty clan just fighting aliens there. <laughs> and honey boo boo child throwing grenades and shit. <laughs> what? I don't know. That would be a frightening sight. <laughs> I think she might try to eat one halfway through though. <laughs> 
And she'd All just right. inflate like a cartoon that swallowed a bomb. <laughs> like, some sm- would... like a little plume of smoke would shoot out of her lips afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'd be fine. Hey, drunken peasants uh, from Australia. Big fan. Uh, I'd like to thank TJ just quickly uh, for helping me to decide to become an atheist about two years ago. Been watching your videos ever since then. TJ, you're a horrible influence. I know. On the children of the world. The children. You took the light of the Lord away from this man, and you will pay for that on the judgment day. Okay. That's all I have to say about it. That's good. (laughs) That's good. I'm glad. Pretty fucking good. Um, Quick question. Uh, In America, the word cunt is, uh, it's got a lot of stigma attached to it. It's uh, pretty offensive over there. Uh, A lot of feminists I know uh, have a lot of trouble with it. Uh, There's a lot of, like, whiplash when someone says it over there, apparently. Uh, I know you've uh, copped a lot of shit for saying it before, Um, TJ. So uh, just quickly, uh, in Australia... The word cunt uh, is a word that refers to a mate, like if a guy brings you a drink from the bar and uh, he says, uh, here you go, cunt, you say, thanks, cunt, uh, thanks for the drink, cunt. Um, <laughs> so do you ever think it? Oh, man, I just want to go there just to be able to do that. Yeah, what that the fuck's fun. up, cunt? Yeah, hey, cunt. Nothing much, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm going to start calling people cunt and just see how it goes. Be like, hey, it's cool Maybe in Australia. Should. Because, you know, everybody knows that these curse words are the, they're the most fun words to say. Maybe we should just invert the meaning. And just be, yeah. I mean, we already have started. Like, I call my friends motherfuckers all the time. Hey, what's up, motherfucker? I refer to everything as my, you know, like my shit, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that so shit's over there. That's because you guys are sailors with potty mouths. Oh, Unlike yeah. me, I'm a refined and dignified gentleman who never uses profane language. Good for you, TJ. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> You'll be like that in America. Call like me by my Christian name, Lance Sloan. Regular old term, like they even just throw it around, like cunt doesn't mean anything here. Uh, I call all my friends cunts. Um, okay. We got the cunt concept. You think it'll be like that over there, yeah. like just like saying the F word, really. Um, right. I say fuck all the time. But... Right. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. Thanks for answering my question. Uh, what? Hope to... Watch a future episodes. Uh, they're pretty fucking good, bro. What was even the question? I, yeah, I was gonna say I might just be high, but it seems to me that he just told us a story about how he calls all his friends cunts, and then said, uh, "Yeah, thanks, you know, for answering the question." <laughs> hey, what what question? question? I don't. I didn't hear it. Did you, Ben? I don't. No, no. But I, I think, I think he maybe just wanted us to comment on it. Okay. Well, my comment on it is, yeah, there's like things are different in different countries. I mean, that's how. Yeah, the culture things. Work. You know, it's kind of funny. Like in the U.S., a fanny is is someone's ass, but in the U.K., yeah. a fanny is a vagina, which can yeah. lead to probably a lot of confusion. Yeah, like fanny pack. Yeah, <laughs> they'd be over there sticking it up their butts. Yeah, well, it's a fanny pack. Why is he still here? I don't All know. All right, this okay. is my third question for the Drunken Peasants podcast. Uh, my question for you guys is this. If you he has a very ovular it, head. <laughs> his, his head is oval. ovulating. Yeah, I mean, like, if he, if he just painted his neck black and then drew some little white legs and, like, made his face white, he could look like Humpty Dumpty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, you're so mean. What? <laughs> I would do it if my head was that shape, but it's not. My head is like a fucking giant he, melon. He could be. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> he would be Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> DJ just says <laughs> yeah, he'd be Humpty Dumpty. I would do it. That's okay. I'd fucking, I don't care. You I'd, would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would be like, I'd even do videos. <laughs> okay. Every fall. <laughs> Anyone on get YouTube, it? who would it be and why? All right, see you. Bye. What do you say? I didn't get the question. Yeah, I didn't get it either. <sighs> Go back, Ben. We didn't get oh, Humpty's right. question. This is my third question for the Pay attention. podcast. Uh, my question for you guys is this. If you could terminate anyone on YouTube, who would it be and why? All right, see you. Bye. Does he mean terminate like kill or terminate like their just account. end their account? Like forever. Um, I, you know, I, really, I don't really think I would do that to anybody, honestly. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Like the, the obvious choices would be like, 
Brett Keen and stuff like that. But like, I would never want to like have Brett Keen never come back. He just does it to himself anyway. Right. I, I mean, I, 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 I just, I mean, like, there's, I, I mean, like, if there, if someone has a really stupid, offensive opinion, I think we should let them speak, and then everyone should just make fun of them. I think that's more effective than being like, they can't speak because someone might be convinced. It's like, you know, only idiots would be convinced, and then we know who the idiots are. So, it's I mean, I'd good. like, I'd like to terminate. Onision, because he's a cunt. No, that but, means friend in Australia, so you can't oh even yeah, call oh him yeah, that that's anymore. Right, that's right. <laughs> my, I call my mates cunts all the time. Somebody gets you a drink and they say, hey, cunt. I don't even think I would terminate Onision's account, though, because I yeah, just I don't like. Think I would either. I mean, I would just. I'd, maybe I'd be tempted to because he's a douchebag. But at the end of the day, I kind of believe in, like his his right to say what he wants or do sure. what he wants so i'm not yeah. gonna like really like you know i just it's really yeah, not I'm, something I, it's not something I, I want i have the desire to do is go around terminating other people's channels because i mean i know that it's a lot of work to run a fucking youtube channel and i wouldn't want to just like i'm just gonna destroy your work because i personally <laughs> don't like you you fucking piece right. of shit i yeah. mean it just seems like a profoundly selfish act of like an immature asshole Yeah, All the right. court of public opinion probably takes care of anything on YouTube that needs to right, be Right, exactly. Care. Exactly right. Let's see what's next. What's up, drug and peasants? How you doing? My name is Daniel. You probably don't care what my name is, but... Do you? I, I do. You ben. do? I care about Daniel. Okay. Maybe you're just some fucking callous piece of shit that doesn't <laughs> even care if Daniel dies tomorrow. But Daniel happens to be someone who's very near and dear to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> this is a TJ only question. Oh, it's a oh. TJ only question. My favorite kind. And I wanted to know what is TJ's favorite image board website? So give me an answer. I like that Marilyn Manson is playing in the background also. Why the fuck can't Ben and Paul answer that question? That seems kind of strange. Yeah, my my answer would be supremely boring. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> you don't what, know what, what the is he like? He's like, talking about image boards like 4chan and shit. Oh. Where it's just like you know, there's just Got nothing it. but like people posting images and maybe like some brief commentary and shit. They're really kind of boring sites. There's not, I mean, like it's kind of an outmoded like idea, even in my opinion. Like, yeah. I mean, they're they're just kind of like really boring, listless communities. I find. So I, my answer would be that I don't really care for them. Well, there you go. <laughs> TJ yeah, bitch. <laughs> Hello, the inebriated low-ranking members of society. Uh, it is I, the tepid blooded child of Patrick Coleman, and I want to, to and I wanted to ask you: Would you take death over this transvestite? Death would be a release next to this travesty. Okay. I don't even. What the do fuck know, was that? I don't even fucking. What do you fucking watch this shit before you add it to the fucking roster, Ben? <laughs> or are you just like anything that people say, and you're just like, "Yep, add it to the list." <laughs> well, I mean, like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. <laughs> I just like I just feel like I'm like sitting there like, I'm, is that a, is there actually a question here or is this just like designed to be confusing? It is. Or are they referring to something that doesn't even like I'm unaware <laughs> of some new fad on the internet that everyone's going to be doing for the next like three months and I'm determined not to fucking pay any attention to it. So every time I see it, I just scroll past it really fast and mumble how stupid people are under my breath. Is that what this is? Yes. Okay. You ready for more? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's have oh, it. Yeah. Bull cut kid, go. Hi, Scotty. Hi, TJ. Hi, Ben. Scotty ain't oh. here, mushroom boy. Um, I just had a question <laughs> about, like, uh, what's your guys' opinion on, like, Satanists? Like, uh, not the... Uh, Satan! Don't believe in God and the devil, but the ones that... Uh, well, like, pray to him or worship him, like, in ways where they're, like, praying for people to die. Like, uh, for example, my ex-girlfriend uh, had a journal where she would write names in 
um, for <laughs> killed. Um, one of them was Obama. Um, oh, okay. What the, uh, what the fuck is going? Get, get is this kid describing a crime? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like this, this like fourteen year old kid like about to confess something to us. <laughs> like I don't know if I want this on my fucking. <laughs> I don't want this on my plate. <laughs> you have to give me more than I'm asking for here, kid. Oh. One of them was Obama. <laughs> One of them was Obama. I can't even deal with that right now. Like, I'm going to have to go flip through a law book and find out if it's even fucking legal for us to have said that. <laughs> He said that his ex-girlfriend wrote Obama's name in a book of people that she wanted Satan to kill. Is that what he's going on? I don't know. That's what it... Because he started out with a pretty lucid question. It was like, what do you guys think about <laughs> Satanists? And then we're hearing about his ex-girlfriend writing Obama's name in the death note book. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck is going on here? Not because he was a shitty president, but because he was black, which she was quite uh, a racist. Um, glad me and her are not together anymore. She was fucking batshit crazy. And also... No! Um, also, like... Uh, she said that she was, like, being haunted by demons. But, which I'm pretty sure she was just hallucinating, which uh, TJ... Um, I remember in one of your Q&As, you said that, uh, uh, sorry for all the uhs, I have trouble talking. Keep going. Stuff oh, like God, that. Just go. Power um, through. Power through. Mainly because I have Asperger's social. Power disorder. through. You guys know what it is. Um, uh, fuck, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, you said, uh, I remember in a Q&A, you said that, uh, you had sort of hallucinations like that caused by, like, sleep problems and stuff like that. Um, I was just wondering what your opinion was on this topic. And, uh, bye. Yeah, I had, um, I think they're, I don't remember if they're called hypnopompic or hypnogognic hallucinations, which are basically when you're just coming out of REM sleep, you, you're, you're basically, like, part of your dream kind of carries over into waking, and you can see, like, hallucinations and shit. And I experienced that on a few occasions. But it sounds like your ex-girlfriend is more yeah. like sch schizophrenic or, or something like that. I mean, I don't want to try to diagnose someone on a secondhand account when I'm not even qualified to diagnose someone at all. But it sounds like there's something a little bit more severe going on there. Yes. And you might want to talk to an adult about that Obama thing. Yeah. Right, you know. That's, I, don't, I, I seriously doubt that Obama has much to fear from a probably 14 or 15-year-old girl, but... It's probably yeah, no. still worth mentioning to somebody. That, that she's got a death book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the death book might be something pertinent to, to bring up to somebody. <laughs> to somebody. To somebody. Especially if there's people that she actually knows in there. Right. Might want to let, you know. Yeah. Might want to let someone know <laughs> about that. Right. That's, that's not a normal thing to be happening. Yeah. Unless you're Richard Nixon. Hey, nigga. Uh, I was wondering what you guys think about <laughs> Okay. So there's my question, and, uh... <laughs> that racism is power plus prejudice. I am not a crook. Fucking retarded. Thanks. I don't. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It was right. just, yeah. yeah. He's got. It's moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have like. Hi, guys, from the Drunken Prison Show. What, Ben? No, I need, uh, mind. Paul? Go. No, no, I want to hear no, it. Uh, I just wanted to, Was that one of those old, like window-based uh, air conditioning units behind him just blowing at full blast. Yeah, I don't know. Sound like an air compressor or something like that. I think he was recording it on the back of a dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> on 
Like his the dirt bike is the camera, you know. It's like converted. <laughs> Sounds like a boat. I know. The camera <laughs> fucking was sounding like that. Fuck. All right. Well, let's hear what this fucker has to say. All right. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm from Belgium. Okay. And I got a simple question, simple question to you, but uh, I'm sure you find a funny answer to it. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, why do people still cling on to religion, even though they're faced with uh, scientific facts? I, I wonder, will there ever be a time when people don't let their lives being directed by imaginary beings? Uh, thank you. Don't hold your fucking breath. Obviously, yeah. there's, you know, like cultural reasons that religion. Well, childhood indoctrination is yeah. a hell of a drug. Yeah, it <laughs> sure is. I mean, there's a reason. There's a reason that most people who are Christians have been Christians for their entire lives, and it's not like. There's, I mean, like, I'm not saying that no one turns to Christianity later on, but it's not as fucking common. Um, you know, there's there's a reason that, that people drill that into little kids' heads, like, you love Jesus, you love God. Yeah. I actually, I mean, uh, I went to I a... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. How's it going, Jeremy Peasants? Ah! ah! All right. <laughs> going good by the way thanks yeah. for asking Thank guy you. yeah thanks the fucking guy he looks like uh, who's he look like he looks like the fucking lead singer of the deftones maybe oh, chino moreno yeah yeah, yeah there he looks go. like he's falling asleep <laughs> let's play his question all right fuck that other guy's uh, question Despite being the dumb cunt that she is, uh, would you still fuck Essie Cup? And no. Nah. Nah. Alright. And while we're on the subject, uh, who, who would win in a titty battle to the death? Essie Cup or TJ? I'd win. I've got win. bigger tits. <laughs> and I have more weight that I can thrust battle. behind them, you know? What what I, would be the rules of the titty bat? I think it's just when you beat your opponent to death with only your tits. <laughs> That's how I interpreted it. A titty bat. <laughs> My tits are always bouncing. They're the toast of any Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Old man school. Tits, man tits, man tits. tits. Watch them. Watch I don't know the rest. Jiggle, watch them flop. You go the rest. Watch them wiggle, watch them slop. There we go. I loved that shit, man. Yeah, you it's just pretty have to awesome. Bust that out. You charge if you charged her, holding one in each hand while belting out that is your battle cry. <laughs> she would just wither. She would run. I know, how, right? How how would Se Cup even fucking deal? I would, with that. I I would catch up to her and I would slam my tits together on her skull and she would just be like jelly between them. <laughs> That's how it would go. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's proceed. Let's move on. Hey guys, this is a question for TJ. My question is, why mm -hmm. does Scotty always get butt hurt whenever people only have a question for TJ? Why does Scotty always get butt hurt? It's a good thing Scotty's not it's, here. Well, it's funny that he asked you why Scotty <laughs> gets butt hurt. Because he's, he's trolling Instead a little there, yeah. I think. You know? I, I don't know. Let's ask Scotty. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, yep. okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Cena. Scotty Cena. <clears throat> Scotty is going to comment. Scotty is going to tell me, like, I saw Scotty Cena. Didn't fucking like it. <laughs> Scotty just makes. But Scotty getting butt hurt is not even a thing. That's just like, you know, that's just Scotty. Yeah. He just wants to be pissed off at you. He was pissed off at you before you even said any words. He just looked at you and was like. I don't like his hair. Fucking wish he died in a fire. Is that the last question? Yes, it is. So what are we doing now? I don't know. Do you want to move on to the other stuff that we have, or do you want to take a break? Let's take a little break, and then we'll do maybe a couple news stories. I don't know if Paul wants to come back again. I, I, would, I would be happy to. If you guys want to have me, I'm here. All yep, right. we do. So we'll call you again in like 10 more minutes. Sounds good. Pan break. Finish up the show. <laughs> Damn right.
it. Turn that metal shit off. <laughs> ah, my ears. Yeah. Karloff, sidekick. Karloff does not deserve to smell my shit. Yeah, he does. Karlov at least deserves to smell Bela Lugosi's shit. Do we have Paul back? How did... What the fuck did I just come in on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boris Karlov at least can smell Bela Lugosi's shit. <laughs> Where was that doesn't. conversation even coming from? It came from beyond the grave. Oh. Right. That limey cocksucker can rot in hell for all I care. You think it takes talent to play Frankenstein? It's all on makeup and then grunting. Bullshit. Ben. Bullshit. Ben is obsessed <laughs> with that. Pulls a string. Play Pull the string. Pull the string. String. <laughs> Pull the string. G. Yeah, yeah. G. Pull the string. Bullshit. I also have this guy, too. Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Holy dog shit! Texas only steers and queers come from Texas! Do you suck dicks? Bullshit! I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose! <laughs> oh, that's, that's such a good movie. Yeah. Goddamn motherfuckers. So we're back. Yes. We're back. A dinosaur story. All right. Why, you're always bringing up dinosaur shit all the time. I love dinosaurs. I love cartoon dinosaurs, like Denver the Last yeah. Dinosaur. <laughs> but we've already we've already talked about his perversion. Yeah, we even got fan art of Denver fucking the kids from the show. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So yeah, someone made that and sent it to us. Thanks. <laughs> well, I, have, <clears throat> I have a quick question about the fan art. <laughs> yeah. Why do I look like a fucking bullfrog in every? <laughs> like I look awful. Like, <laughs> I know. I, look, I, I realize I'm not the best looking guy in the world, but Jesus Christ, cut me a little slack, <laughs> people, fan art people. You make me like so slight, slightly charming and handsome. You know. <laughs> once. No, you got to be a fat tub of shit every time. <laughs> Dude, I'm. I'm a, <laughs> I want just because you big, said that like, I want I want I'm announcing the disgusting Paul's ego fan art contest. <laughs> I will give a twenty five dollar Amazon gift card. Really? Wow. To whoever draws the most disgusting picture of Paul's ego and sends it in to the drunken peasants on our Facebook. Yes. Oh, my God. You can oh, win a twenty-five dollar no. Amazon it, gift card. It has to kind of resemble. It, Paul. Yeah, it has to look reasonably like Paul, but you have to exaggerate his ugliness as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, you and can't make just him draw. Just, you can't just draw a pile of dog shit and, it <laughs> and like write Paul over it or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, no, I'm my serious god. about this fucking contest. If that, you know, let's fucking get that going. Cause fuck right. yeah. I just when I heard Paul saying that he just he so desperately wants flattering fan art, I'm like, no, I want to see, I want to see fan art that makes the previous shit look flattering by comparison. <sighs> okay, let's go to a story. All right, now I'm done yeah, crushing I'm, Paul. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and and uh, you know <laughs> contemplate the fact that I'm gonna be faced with all of my in <coughs> inadequacies. Within a couple of hours, I was I was just thinking about uh, the one time you were on here. You were talking about the first time Scotty saw you, and he was like, "That guy's got jowls." Yeah, yeah, he's jowly. He's jowly. <laughs> jowly. <laughs> jowls. Yeah, I love that word. Jowls. Yeah, that, it is. It is a pretty cool word. Jowl. 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 Yeah, there's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of J's used in English language in general. Usually people use the, the G, the soft G, for, for all of Jay's jobs. Pisses me off, because I have a Putting J in my name. Putting all those J's out of work? I know, right? But it, maybe it makes my name sound slightly more exotic. Like, ooh, he has a J. Not many motherfuckers got a J, unless their name is James. Fuck those people. You have a point. All right. I don't know if I have a point, but I had a random, stupid... <laughs> pointless observation about the letter J. 
It's like a Sesame Street episode, but more profanity. So do you know people died of Ebola? <laughs> nice yeah. segue there. I uh, I had Ebola. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I did. That's why I missed the last show because I had the Ebola virus. You and got I'm it from fine eating Chinese now. food? Yes, and I'm fine now, though. P.F. Chang's? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can't even call that Chinese food, really. I mean, it's like... I had a, I had a touch of the hemorrhagic fever. My oh, eyeballs yeah. started to liquefy, and then I, you know, I went into the doctor, got a booster shot. I'm fine now. I'm back. No, no. <laughs> I just used the sheer power of my awesomeness to cure myself. Got so. it. That's how we do it. Up on the top, Paul. This is the CDC's Emergency Operations Center. Think of it as the nerve center of its response to the Ebola outbreak. Scary music, scary music. They started buzzing everywhere. While we were here, the activation level just went up to level They make the music they're playing make it sound like Ebola is just like creeping up on you from every fucking corner. Like, yeah, the Ebola virus imminently affecting a town near you. Race against the clock, scary music, oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. This is like there there's when with like the when you use this kind of soundtrack, I think it kind of um undermines any sort of attempted objectivity that might be going on, you know? Yeah, no, the the music and the production of it and just it, it makes it seem disingenuous. Like, like it's a, like it's like it's a an emotional, an emotional uh, plea rather than a fucking news story. Just be afraid of this. Like, <laughs> why like... can't we just do like Walter Cronkite used to do and sit down on the news desk and read the fucking news? Like, why do we got to be in the CDC? This guy doesn't want to be talking to this other guy right now. He's at a stage <laughs> one fucking look at CDC issues highest response alert. And I think right before we paused it, the guy said, uh, yeah, while we're talking, we just went to the to, to DEFCON 1 or whatever the fuck. The like, Def he doesn't Con want to be talking one. to this douchebag from CNN. It's a waste of his fucking time. <laughs> Can we just, just in the last couple minutes, what does that mean? What that means is just um, more people and more resources dedicated to the response. In that room, you could feel a quiet determination and a sense of urgency. What you're looking at is what the CDC looks at, a map of the world, trying to figure out what infectious diseases are happening and where they're happening. As you might imagine, a lot of focus on Ebola right now. They're tracking that as well, real time. They've been doing it since March. Take a look in here. This really jumped out at me. Mid-May, they thought things were basically under control. But then look what happens at the beginning of June. Everything takes off. This is on its way to becoming the worst Ebola outbreak in history. Did this guy just explain a basic graph? To us? <laughs> yes, he did. Because we're <laughs> stupid. It's like, <laughs> look how you think it's going to go down. Yeah. But then it goes, it goes back up. It's like, it yeah, up. When we it goes can up, see. That indicates a rise in Ebola. You know, <laughs> yeah. Fucking like we know what a graph. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone understand. Like even stupid people watching this, like even just from watching movies and shit. Yeah. They're like, are, it done went up. Wow, like, it, it got higher. Look at it. Yeah. it, it, it was, the it line low. got higher to correspond with more instances happening. I understand <laughs> this concept. <laughs> Who the fuck is he explaining this to? And why, why, like, he's at the CDC, and this is a shot that they decided to go with, is a fucking poster on the wall of a fucking line going up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he's at the CDC. Get some get some pictures of people in virus suits and shit. I've seen <laughs> outbreak. I know what goes on in there. Yeah, like Doc and for no reason, just have a shot of a fucking caged monkey screaming and wailing <laughs> against his bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let's while you're at it, get some more ambient lighting in there. Get like that fucking like hushed kind of harsh green lighting, you know? <laughs> the harsh green. Yeah, get like the harsh green lighting and everything's really dramatic there and are shit. Four lights. Right. There you go. We need that kind of shit going on yeah. in this story. If you're going to do the scare tactics, do it right. 
Monroe is helping lead the CDC's Ebola response. Not an easy task at all. Was there mistakes made? I mean, is, is there a reason why this outbreak is worse than any other outbreak in history? The initial event, the lightning strike, if you will, was right in this corner between three countries in a very remote part of each of those countries. And so it quickly spread across the borders. Here in the United States, different questions. For example, if Ebola is not airborne, then why were there such extraordinary precautions taken for Dr. Kent Brantley and Ms. Whiteball? Turns out it was more an abundance of caution rather than a necessity. We're pretty confident that any large hospital could, could handle an Ebola case if one were to show up um, at their doorstep using traditional Man, isolation. let's just fucking put this out there that only pussies die from Ebola. Because <laughs> I got Ebola and I did not think it was a big deal. Did yeah. you guys... I, I just posted a video on my Amazing Atheist channel about uh, this guy named... Um, Fuck, what was his name? Rick Wiles. And he said that the Ebola virus is actually a gift from God, that it's going to eliminate the atheists, and it's going to eliminate the sluts and fornicators and pornographers, and it's going to eliminate the gays, and it's going to eliminate people who have abortions. And it's going to, and if you're, but if you're washed in the blood of the lamb, it will not affect you. So Ebola is basically an agent of God, and we should welcome it to our good Christian nation. Well, I hope that someday I find myself that out of touch with reality. <laughs> Just for the, that, you know, like, it's got to be fun to be that crazy to an extent, right? But yeah, but I'd like to be able to turn it on and off. Like, I don't want to be a psychic medium and a shaman, if you get my drift. <laughs> right, I gotcha. <laughs> No, no, you could be all those things. In fact, we can introduce you to someone who can help. Okay, okay. If, uh, if, if he has gotten out of, of jail yet, has he? <laughs> I was thinking, not, not to completely change the subject, but I was thinking about, like, what stunt do I have to pull to, to match that? Like, a guy got arrested <laughs> in the middle of the show... He's a psychic medium and a shaman. Like, even if I develop psychic powers, like, you how should... am I going to match... You should get Tim the bartender to come to your house and, like, stage a rape scene <laughs> on the show. Just be like, Tim the bartender comes in like, yeah, I heard what you said about me, you fat bitch. Bends you over the table. Oh, and you're like, ah! <laughs> no, he doesn't bend me over the table right away. First, he puts me in tight corduroys. Put these tight corduroys <laughs> on, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, Let me exactly. Play with my emotions now. Put these tight corduroy pants on, motherfucker. Yeah, squeeze your ass in them tight corduroys. They're too small. There ain't no such thing as too small. Fit in that shit. Get in them motherfucking corduroys or I'll cut you. I literally won't fit, sir. <laughs> Rooms with uh, a uh, negative pressure room why? and with traditional uh, droplet and respiratory precautions. And while I suited up in multiple layers when I was in Guinea just earlier this year... ...that can be worn, worn by healthcare workers when they come into contact with patients. The CDC says a mask, goggles, face shield, a protective gown, and gloves can provide all the protection you need for most situations. That's Oh, that's all. Just that easy, handy travel kit. Yeah. The Ebola travel kit. Someone should market that right now. Just to take all of those things they just recommended, put them together in one thing, and be like, the Ebola kit, only nineteen ninety nine. I bet somebody's already working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ebola kit. The Ebola kit. Stop yourself from getting Ebola, and then they can have the Ebola kit plus with even more bullshit that'll prevent you from contracting this unlikely to contract disease. <laughs> It worked. I bought it, and I ain't got a bowler yet. <laughs> oh, damn, with, te with testimonials like that. I never took it out of the box, but I'm glad I do have it, though. You, you can't know, prove that I would have got... You can't prove that I wouldn't have got a bowler without this, so... Yeah. That's all that matters. Ben is losing his mind. You want to go to the next one? No. Just want to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed Ben with one hit. I'm dead. All right. 
Russian soldiers selfie backfires. Yes. Okay. A Russian soldier having some fun on Instagram might be giving away information that his commanders would have liked to keep secret. This is the guy I'm Oops. talking about here, a sergeant in the Russian army who likes his own image so much that he sends a lot of selfies to friends on the internet. And here's the problem for Sergeant Selfie. He may not know that these pictures also give his exact location and some of them indicate he is on the wrong side of Russia's border with Ukraine. I'm joined now by Lori Siegel, who's been looking into this. Lori. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of this lately, like people getting lambasted for their selfies. There was the little girl that took a selfie in front of Auschwitz recently. I don't know if you heard about that. No, no, I didn't. Yeah, there, I don't, there was like this. I this don't really like girl. Like, I don't, I, yeah, I think I think somebody should do it. Like, I think somebody should just travel around to every horrible site in the, like in the world and take big smiling <laughs> selfies in front of them. I would do it. I would totally fucking do it. I, I that should be the amazing atheist travel scrapbook. Where I just take really smiley, happy selfies in front of the worst locations that horrible shits happened at. <laughs> Go for Chernobyl. it. Chernobyl. Snap. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. I'd have to get like a radiation suit or something. No, just get your Ebola suit, man. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah, that's there's, true. There, there, there's a face mask in there. And Actually, goggles. I'm pretty sure that because I had Ebola, I'm immune to radiation. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm pretty sure it does work. You are. If this is true, I think we all know that. You, you post anything anywhere, it's got a locator uh, indicator in there of wh where exactly you are. And this would seem to be some proof that, that Russians are operating on the Ukrainian side of the border. Sure, Jim. I mean, look, in short, it's all about geolocation. Social media, we now know, offers more clues than we're aware of. This is no surprise. And these selfies were posted on Instagram while he was on duty. But the interesting thing here is Instagram has a feature called Photo Map. You're looking at it right now. Anyone can see where and when you post a picture when you have that uh, function turned on. You can see here he posted 32 photos on the Russian side of the border, two pictures from Ukraine. And, Jim, we get very specific location data. I'm talking, we know that he posted these pictures pictures uh, at the end of June and early July. Now, PhotoMap is known to be very accurate, although, of course, there are exceptions. You know, in this case, he might have had no idea. It could have been a combination of having that feature turned on and him being unaware that his images were automatically being geotagged on the iPad. Now, if you look at the selfies that appear to be posted from Ukraine, they seem pretty basic. He talks about night gatherings and sleepings. He, uh, he always uses the hashtag army. But, you know, when you look at it, being able to easily gauge that a Russian soldier during this conflict was posted from Ukraine is noteworthy, uh, noteworthy just given that the region is hotly contested. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of finger pointing so, going on. J just like word of advice to anyone who's like involved in some sort of covert mission or espionage <laughs> thing. Probably not a great idea to at any point during a mission use your cell phone at all. But especially not to take selfies and be like, yeah, look at me. I'm awesome. I'm out here on this secret mission now. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand the selfie thing. I, I missed the boat. TJ, but yeah. TJ takes selfies all the time. I do. He's a selfie king. I don't know. It's just like I'm just obsessed with how awesome I am, so I just <laughs> want to share it with everybody. It really I think it's just I think it's just people like me who have like really fragile self esteem and they're just like, Yeah, like look at my fucking face and tell me I don't look so fucking horrible and people are like, I guess you're okay. It's like, okay, I'm still all right. It's it's the selfie has replaced the mirror. It's like a consensus reflection. Meanwhile, somebody is, you know, drawing a picture of me gargling cum. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well now they to, are now they is are about is sure. about to send it to you in the email. For that twenty-five dollar gift card. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for plugging that again. <laughs> yeah, Paul, because he's interested. He wants to see. I want to. I, I kind of want to see. He has that morbid curiosity now. Like, I wonder, like, how badly they're gonna fucking portray me. How exaggerated? Well, or unexaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, someone should just submit a picture of you. Like, this is as yeah. bad as it gets. <laughs> oh, man, you just ruined it. <laughs> Look at this right here. You can't even exaggerate it so bad. 
So yeah, basically don't don't take selfies when you're <laughs> yeah, on right? missions. <laughs> so that's the lesson we can all derive from this. Yeah. Probably should not take selfies at all, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> one more story. Yeah, we'll do one more. Theodore Wafer? Yeah, this is the story of the guy who killed the 19-year-old girl on his front porch. Okay. She was coming to his house looking for help after she was in a car accident. Well, she fucking knocked on the wrong door that night. Yep. Breaking news. A verdict just announced in the front wow. porch murder trial in Detroit. It is shocking. Can't they mic Theodore her up? I mean, charged- does she really have to yell everything? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shocking <laughs> fucking news today in a fucking murder trial. Holy fuck. You will nice, never nice. believe what happened. I love this Oh, my guy. God. Oh, my God. Jesus oh. Christ. This woman is just... Stop yelling. No, she's yeah. going to keep it's, going. It's, it's meant for emphasis. It's not meant to be the normal talking about... And I'm saying this. Wow. I'm saying yeah, this. That really means sake. a lot. Okay. With murdering 19-year-old Renisha McBride, and he is guilty, Joey, on all three counts. We're talking about second-degree murder, as you know, manslaughter, and possession of a firearm during a felony. I'm Susan Hendricks, alongside Joey Jackson. So we talked about this for a couple of days. We fo- followed this trial very closely. I didn't expect guilty on all counts you know, at all. Absolutely, and I think certainly, you know, you can look at this and you could say, so, Susan, it's the middle. The girl he shot was black, right? Right. Okay. I'm just, because that's, yeah. Okay. And she got into a car accident, came to this guy's house, right? right. And he just shot her on the porch. Yes. Okay. So like, help me, help me. Oh, my God, they they fucking finally revolting. Boom, boom, boom. The revolution done you. come. I'm a hero. And, and, and this was... What, if she uh, could have concealed carried, she could have fired back. This this was mm, in true enough. this was in Detroit, so it's not like this guy never saw a black person in his life or anything like that. So you have to wonder. He was just waiting. He probably created the car accident just so he could shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> Middle of the night, right? He acted reasonably and had an honest belief that he was under attack. But guess what? The jury didn't buy it, and they felt that he exceeded the grounds for having that honest belief. And since he exceeded it, that makes him culpable. And they found him guilty: murder in the third degree, manslaughter, and firearm. I know possession. that Renisha McBride's it's a second family. degree on the bottom. Did they charge him with firearm possession too? I. I I said, I they said something about possessing a gun during a felony. I guess that's a crime. I don't know. Well, it was a crime because it was murder, and I agree with it. It was so he should. Right? Yeah. So I agree. I think so. I mean, I don't know all the details of the case, but it sounds like it's a pretty open and shut kind of situation, unless there's some crazy mitigating factor that's not being presented. Right. Yeah, we weren't sitting in the courtroom the whole time, but... Uh, I was, Ben. You were? I have civic fucking pride, bitch. Oh, shit. This is, this is an example of a bigger problem, I think. Like, the gun rhetoric in this country has gotten a little... Like, it's reached a fever pitch, and people are starting to, like, just fucking defend themselves from, from nothing. Communism. Like, yep. <laughs> Socialism. Yeah, I mean, uh, I agree with you there. I mean, like, I'm not even, like, one of these, like, super anti-gun people or anything, but I think that the pro-gun people are just getting fucking wackier and wackier all the time. Yeah, and I mean, it seems to be getting worse and worse. Right, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's like, their rhetoric has, like, it used to at least have some basis in reality, but at this point, I think it's it's almost like based on delusion. It's almost like religious in a way. Yeah, and it's like you're under constant threat. Be afraid. Yeah. You need your gun to protect you from the threat, the vague threat that could harm you at any time. The NRA put out a video the other day uh, with this guy, this douchebag ex ex Navy SEAL guy that they use as their front guy for NRA news online, right? Uh-huh. Put out this video and he's advocating for uh concealed and open carry permits for blind people. 
<laughs> literally. Uh, and, 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 he, and he touts, he's like, what do you think they're going to do? Just start firing the guns willy-nilly all around? And I'm like, well, that's kind of what yeah. you have to do when you're fucking yeah. blind. <laughs> I would imagine so, yeah. That, and he, and he, it, that he is touts, what I think they would do. He touts they're like, he's like, uh, many studies have shown that, that uh, blind people have better hearing and spatial awareness than people that have sight. And I was like, yeah, but they're still fucking blind. For instance, did you know Daredevil was blind? And he's a superhero. Mm, and like, this is a Second point. Amendment issue to them. Like, this is like, <laughs> we need to advocate for blind people to be able to carry guns. I think that if we're going to if we're going to let them carry guns, they should be allowed to drive, too. Yeah, seriously. What, 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 where do you draw fly the line? Airplanes. Let them fly yeah. airplanes. Did you know? Did you know that most movie theaters have a policy that if you're blind, you get half off of your ticket? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Because if <laughs> you just, I guess if you just want to go hear the movie and like put it together in your fucking head, which I guess a lot of them do. Sure. Or um, you know, I guess maybe you you could have someone come and describe to you what's going I'd on. I'd say at that point, just let them in for free. Whatever. Right. I would just say. <laughs> But I, I guess the movie. The, I guess some like. I guess even though it, it's irrational, there's probably like some fear on the movie theater owner's part. Like, well, if it's free, this place will be maggoty with blind. Yeah. Mm, can't have that. <laughs> Got to sell more tickets. Is happy with the outcome of this. I want to play for you now, Renisha McBride's mom when she heard this. Guilty on all counts. She's not yelling now. That's good. Uh, the defendant deserved to be found guilty of all the charges. And he was, and the family could not be happier. Uh, now they're going to have some closure. Um, Monica's going to say a few words, uh, Renisha's mother, and then uh, Walter. They're both open for questions. Mr. Bride, Mr. Bride, what your reaction? Your heart, what's going through your heart and your mind right now? Outstanding. Outstanding. The prosecutor, they did a wonderful job of proving their burden that they had. They had a heavy burden, but they made it through. It was overwhelming. I kept the faith, and I stayed positive. Also, did Renisha's father. He just kept telling me it's, it's going to happen. So I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very, I'm astonished. What would you say to Mr. Wayburn? I like how it's kind of like right almost um, like treated like a, a like a like a roulette wheel or something. Like, yeah, we were just real positive. We knew like 13 black was going to come up. We just felt yeah, it. I Kept my fingers crossed, yeah, my toes you know. crossed. Mm. And I just prayed so hard, and it happened. Thank you, Jesus. There is so much spam in the chat room, it's unbelievable. I'm yeah, just kind of... <laughs> I like the SpongeBob. That's pretty there's cool. A, yeah, there's a SpongeBob that keeps popping up. And, it's, and there's all yeah. these little, like, bacon-looking things. Yeah. I like the bacons. <laughs> it's making me hungry for bacon. What's the password? Bacon. 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 One more story. I, one more. You want to do one more? One more. I'm down. Uh, Let's do one more, Ben. Shit. One more. Shit. One more. Let's do... I guess we have to do this one. Let's do that one. All right. Another day begins without drinking water in Toledo, Ohio. We are still in status quo. The non-consume is still in place. The National Guard delivering water by the truckload. The Red Cross handing out gallons. Come get some. Come get it. Come get it. Yeah, so basically this whole city, probably about, uh, you know, like a smaller city, about 500,000 people, went like four to five days without having water that they could use at all. And what caused this? Uh, it was a toxic algae that built up on the lake front where they get their water from. That's and they, global and, warming. And they and they knew about it years and years ago. Uh, the you know the the people who are in charge of that shit they knew about it, but didn't do anything about it until just you know until this happened. Well, what did people start getting sick and then? Yeah, or did yeah. They you, they uh, it couldn't they couldn't drink it and boiling it I guess just made it worse. Yeah, and uh, I guess showering in it you could have like a reaction like break out in hives. So 
Wow. Someone should draw one of the pictures of Paul should be Paul showering in green algae <laughs> and breaking out in hives. Yeah, me swimming in the lake, the fetid fucking swamp lake in Toledo, Ohio. Yeah. That that poisoned all these poor fucking people. Like that's that's what did it was the fucking down I was I was upstream bathing my disgusting <laughs> fat jiggly pimply splotchy red body in this fucking in this fucking stream. And uh yeah, yeah, that's what made these it, people it carried sick. it carried downstream and sickened the the citizens of Toledo. They may show yeah. it too. We'll see. Store shelves are empty and people are clamoring for cases. If I don't have water, my baby doesn't eat. So that's gonna be an issue. You can't wash dishes. Can't wash up. You can't cook. Is is hell. 400,000 people in the can't Toledo drink. area can't drink tap water. Boiling it will only make the problem. Yeah, boiling it will only make the problem worse. Yeah, yeah. When Paul's ego bathes upstream for you, don't even bother boiling the water. Just move. <laughs> the it all it does is you boil it, and it just you see if you look under it a microscope, you just see like millions of his face just like yeah. pressed up. And he's his, laughing like laughing. Ah. <laughs> my yeah. my hideous jowly face, <laughs> just staring. <laughs> his jowly face. Just replicated Crust. over and over again. Like Gigantic bubbles. crusty boogers in my eyes and <laughs> green slime flowing from every pore on my disgusting face. <laughs> Worse, the warnings first issued on Saturday. Hey everybody, just stay cool, stay calm, uh, and... Um, that's, uh, that, that's the governor. Bleah. Fuck John It's the Casey. governor and the, and the mayor. We, we uh, the only reason I recognize Kasich is because we live in, in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, mm -hmm. so and Kasich is a cunt. Yes, not in the Australian sense. Not in either. the Australian sense. And we'll get through this. We'll learn from this, and we'll bring improvements. The issue appears to stem from. Holy fuck, Paul! Did you do that? <laughs> you see that shit? Paul must have oh, farted in that it, water. That's what's going dude, on. Dude, I was. It, I had a really hot day at work, and it, I was swampy. And when I get swampy, swampy. this is you're like swamp ass. Happens. You're like yeah, swamp dude, ass. Sw like swamp taint. Oh, know, which, yeah. is even, swamp which is even taint. worse than swamp ass. Swamp taint. Yeah, I'd like to see swamp taint take on swamp thing. Like that'd be the <laughs> ultimate battle. <laughs> well, look, I poisoned a whole fucking town. Yeah. Bring it what, on, swamp thing. What the thing. fuck is swamp thing done? Yeah, Nothing. seriously. Nothing. He ain't saved no day I ever fucking heard of. You can see of. Uh, up at the top of the map there, you can see Detroit. Like, Detroit is is right there where all the, the green algae is up there, too. But I didn't hear anything about them having to turn their water off. So No one cares, even if they did. <laughs> Just be like, today in Detroit, more bad shit happened. Eh. That stuff uh, just up north there, it, that's Canada. So, I don't know. They don't even drink water in Canada. No, they don't. They just eat snow. They just, like, absorb it. Yeah. From algae blooms growing in Lake Erie, this photo shows a previous bloom so big you can see it from space. Routine testing of the water supply uncovered the problem, turning up two water samples with dangerous levels of microcystin, a toxin dangerous sometimes released of by algae ego. blooms. More <laughs> testing... When Paul's ego bathes in a public waterway, it's so <laughs> disgusting you can see the funk from his taint from space. <laughs> from space. Space age funk taint. Oh, yeah. It's underway, but additional results are needed before the ban can be lifted. I am not going to take any chances with this community's well-being and health. Businesses and restaurants are closed. Officials say the water is safe for adults to bathe in, but that's not recommended for people with sensitive skin or weakened immune okay. systems. The if 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 your if the water in your area is like it's safe for adults to bathe in, I would still not. I'd be like, I that's not enough of an all clear for me. You know, I ain't I ain't fucking with that. No, no toxin can cause sickness and affect the liver. In the worst cases, it can lead to liver failure. You don't appreciate it. 
you don't know about it until you don't have it. Alexandra Field, CNN, New York. Yeah, I guess there was massive price gouging for water, and there was oh, even there was. fights for water and shit like that, too. Because humanity is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, we should help each other in this time of need. It's like, fuck that shit. People need water. Raise the price of water to fucking $30 a gallon. Wow. <laughs> Gouge those fucking desperate pieces of shit so I can get a little bit ahead and exploit this tragedy. <laughs> I'm awesome. Came up with a badass business scheme. And that's pretty much human nature. Yeah. So. yeah we, we suck as a species. That's pretty much all I'm saying. Paul disagrees. Just... He loves people. Oh, no. Uh, well, I, you I love them. You love I them. I do. You want to suck their cocks, Paul. You're I disgusting. Do love people. You're disgusting. I know. I think loving your fellow man is probably the most disgusting and evil of all perversions. You think so? Yeah. Well, anyway, show's it. over. Show's <laughs> over. Go to Audible. And yes. That's before right. we go, audibletrial. Tri- audible dot com forward slash drunken peasants to support the drunken peasants podcast in all of its awesome endeavors oh yeah get your free audiobook and support your favorite fucking show ever at the same time the end <laughs> good night everybody